Guys, if you haven't already, make sure to follow the podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. It helps us more than you could imagine. <clears throat> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode number 28. And Chippo is well today, although you did just I complain. Well, I was well that last week. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But a week before that, there was a, oh, a COVID yeah. rumors going around. I did just go to the toilet five minutes ago. We'll, and just, we'll leave it at that. Yeah, it was a hot sauce came came to play. Yeah, you know, Nando's hot sauce on a Monday night. Not a Wait, good idea. Wait, was it Nando's hot sauce? Yeah. That, that's Honestly, not, not, that not, no, not even that hot, but the next day it still hits different. Really? Yeah. Anyways, uh, we are joined with the wonderful Matt Does Fitness. Woo! woo. Yeah. Thanks for having me, guys. No worries, the confetti. It did go off. You guys just couldn't see it in the background. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for uh, for coming on. We do appreciate it. And um, one of the things because we we wanted to get a fitness person on. You see, we were like, yeah. like me and Chip, obviously the uh, huge aim high, yeah. start at the very top of the pyramid. Yes, yeah, so we went to Greg Doucette, and then <laughs> yeah, from yeah. there uh, <laughs> yeah. we ended up with you. Three months later, finally, yeah, someone said yes. Yeah, Here exactly. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for coming yeah, on. It is a, it's a pleasure to share the room with someone with a similar. Build. Physique. I was gonna say yeah, when I came in, I thought for a second I was like, no, "You, no, you obviously haven't seen person. my bodybuilding channel. Yet. I'll just give you the link later." <laughs> Thanks, Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Um, but you know, just to give everyone maybe a quick rundown on what you do, because we have a we have a very varied audience here. There's a we have a lot of crackheads. We have um, <laughs> a lot. Very, now we do. We all, do. All, all of we our, do. All our audience. Ninety percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have got yeah. um, a pretty intense audience. But um, would you, I, you know, I hate to do this, but would you mind just describing describing uh, what you do briefly. Okay, so I, I mean now I guess like I'm a vlogger, like I hate, it's a, such a bad word. At least it? like, it's not influencer. I yeah. think influencer's way worse. Yeah, uh, yeah. anyway, it's not yeah, no, that's So true. Like, I just film me doing stuff. Do you know I guess like mm -hmm. when I started, I've, so I'm like an OG, I've been making videos for like seven and a half, year, half years. When I first started, it was proper like instructional, like how to do a sit up, how to do yeah. like, but it's just, so like boring and monotonous and also like it is a niche if you make specifically fitness like videos and obviously you're only ever going to appeal to a certain market whereas obviously documenting your life is you're going to open up to a much bigger like audience yep. so yeah I kind of that kind of dawned on me and then I kind of branched out into more just lifestyle film what I'm doing which is more sustainable as well you know like how yep. many there's only so many fitness videos you can make how to do this like, there's only so many body parts and exercises that you run out you know what I mean and yeah. you end up, a lot of the channels just recycle the same stuff which is fine but it's kind of soul destroying making that so just filming what you're up to is more sustainable because you are just doing stuff generally, yeah you know I, mean? I noticed that like with you know your, your thing is matt does fitness and that is probably the core of what uh, of yeah. what you are so but it's a rubbish name by the way like i made that i didn't plan did not put enough planning into my channel i didn't uh -huh. I didn't think it was going to be anything what would you really. call it now just my name i feel like i, I do you know what i've Matt Morse. So no, no, just get the URL. Just Matt. Matt. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that would slap. Be good, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then sell it as a fitness product. Matt. The Matt. Oh my God. Is it well, all on one channel, by the way? Like everything, all done on Matt Does Fitness? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. See, most people would then go and make like a uh, Matt Does Vlogs. Yeah. Something yeah, yeah. like but that. That's yeah. a classic. That yeah. channel. Yeah. That's a rookie error. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a rookie yeah. error. I did, that was, that was, yeah, I did in that way, that was set up perfectly, but I've never utilized that mm. avenue. Yeah, you're, in fact, your name does allow for lots of different, <laughs> yeah. lots of different things. It does, that's true. Matt Does Porn. I've, I've done that. that. You, you have, I done, have that. done that. You yeah, have yeah, done, done that. Yeah, that's where I started, really. Okay, animal and then stuff, mainly animal. animal. Stuff. Yeah, okay, yeah. interesting. Chip, actually, you did some animal stuff. I, took, I, I came honestly, up. I saw you actually with a. No idea what you're talking about. I stairs. thought it was you in were in the his recommended. I in the stairwell. Well, I was the <laughs> second <laughs> story stairwell. He was absolutely going hell for leather. We just saw each other in the toilet. That's. <laughs> we're stopping that. <laughs> um, but yeah, you started with that, um, and then was there a particular point where? Yeah, because actually it's important, and and this blew my mind as well, is well, that you were actually a PE teacher. Yeah. Which is, imagine you you as a PE teacher. I can't imagine it. All my PE teachers, sus. Really? Very sus, very I, sus. See, back yeah. in the day, I had a couple of cool Everyone PE says teachers. that, you know. Yeah, no, yeah no, I think it's a good mix. I think yeah. for me, they're generally either like cool guys or girls or just absolute creeps, yeah. Yeah. Like, mm, yeah. I've had a few football coaches back in the day, managers. Sus. Dungeon I mean, Dunnies. Well, yeah. One of them actually was here, but yeah. oh, <laughs> no, no. oh my god, chip, chip, chip. You know, you know with a leg grab in the fucking dressing room. <laughs> Mate, worse yeah. than that. I'm no, chip, you had the um 
Um, six form teacher. The six form teacher started moving to him on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. it was all nuts. Started messaging me on Facebook. Then he got done for being like child predator. That's yeah. not what I do. So, anyways, so you uh, you didn't fall into that no, uh, category. I would, no, I mean the temptation was there, but no, I did stay. <laughs> I did avoid being a yeah. <laughs> That's fair enough. And then um, the YouTube bag got uh, got large enough to the point where you could uh, make it your full time job. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Do you know what? It wasn't even. It was actually. So like one of the advantages of being a fitness YouTuber is that there are lots of, I think like certain certain genres, like there's not so many things you can do with it. Whereas fitness has quite a lot of like money making potential, I reckon. Yeah. You know? So I started doing online coaching, which is just like, like writing training programs, like yeah. sending them via, communicating via email. Mm -hmm. And like I offered that. And within a few weeks I was making like as much really? from that as I was from school. So at that point I was like, well, because YouTube revenue at that point was like pretty poor and just fluctuates so much. And that would have yeah. been, at that point, I had like a mortgage. It would have been probably a bit risky. Just yeah, being like, for oh, sure. What, let's just go and be a YouTuber. So that that combined with the coaching was like, well, it was kind of like a no-brainer at that point, you know? Yeah. yeah. Did any of the kids at your school like find your videos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It like, was oh. like a, it was just, it was funny. It was like a cycle every year. So you get all the new intake of year sevens uh -huh. and you get the first few months where you're like, oh, because they like, they've all clocked it. And yeah. Like, I'm Madness Fitness. Yeah, constantly. And then, and then it kind of dies down. They all get over it. Then it starts again the next year. So that was quite a constant theme. How did you find, because I know that there's definitely some schools that would have had a problem with you. you know what? That's yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah, I, I was so fortunate. So you're absolutely right. Like my school, the head was a sick guy. He was like, he, like we got on really well. Yeah. He was so good. Like didn't have it. Yeah, I, like, like you say, like I sat in so many, like um, what they're called, you know, like uh, safeguarding meetings, whole school meetings. Yeah. And like yeah. you get someone in to present it. And the first thing they say is, do not have any social media presence. Don't use your name. I'm there. Like, You're I'm like with an entire YouTube the vlog channel. Last night. Yeah, like, I've done yeah. exactly everything <laughs> yeah, you told me yeah. not to do here. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, but the head was awesome. And like, I, I, to be fair, like I, I was like, a, I, don't, I don't really like really now, but especially at that point, I would never swear. Like even, I wouldn't even do like topless stuff. All my stuff yeah. was pretty like, so it's pretty safe. But still, yeah, like you said, it only takes one parent just to, to complain, complain and yeah. you'd be fucked. So like, yeah, I was lucky. That they were really cool about it. And then, as soon as I left, it was like the most liberating thing, mate. Be not having to worry about repercussions, just doing what I wanted. Yeah. It was like mm -hmm. sick. That was ideal. And then Stress free, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, like you said, it could have been, yeah. I think a lot of other schools would have had a, an issue with it. So it was pretty handy. Yeah. Cause I was going to say, could you imagine if that was the case? Like they'd come to you early doors as well and they were like, yeah, this I is going to run you. Yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. Because I wasn't that invested. I wasn't invested at all, actually. And like the teaching, I was like, oh, I'm going to be a teacher. So I yeah. would have just acted too off, much so. of a risk to, yeah. to then just like take yeah. a gamble and do yeah, YouTube. Exactly. Yeah. It's sort of the same when like kids are at school, though, and they, they start a YouTube channel. It's like when yeah. I was at school and I started. Um, you know, people come up to you and you know, you get banter for it, all that, but that's to be expected. But back then it was, it wasn't, you couldn't even have it as a job, anything. So it was a real like risky one for me to- Yeah, cause you were just doing it for fun. Like you were sat there, QPR career mode. Yeah, just yeah, for yeah. Fun. yeah. No, just for fun, but it paid off. Yeah, and, of and, course. And the heat that you catch, it, it did end up paying yeah. off. So yeah, I good. remember a few kids that were like, yeah, someone would find their channel mm -hmm. from there, like, 11 and you're like oh no because oh. it's just like you know being a magician or something just horrendous like, <laughs> oh, oh being oh. a magician yo, we, you're like we've why, been there. Yeah. Why, <laughs> have you, why have you not deleted it like it's been found already you're getting yeah. hammered like you know like they made one video three years ago just take it down why have you why no but at that point it's probably too late no yeah, yeah that's true yeah, it's like true. if everyone's already found it out yeah, but that's, that's why true. i reckon there so you because a lot of the time you hear the success of like youtubers you know starting and then doing it but you, you don't hear about the thousands of people that start it then in school it just gets too much for them and yeah. then and then and they scrap it, it and they scrap it and so people think oh like i could be a youtuber i could be a, be a youtuber then do it yeah go on that, go on that fucking easy. do it then but you, you won't a lot of stress. you won't because you'll catch heat for it and then you'll bottle it yeah yeah so um, yeah, that's uh, YouTube in school is a uh, is a ropey one, but I think yeah, you probably made the right decision. The the time where the money started uh, coming in, and then like you said, it's just liberating. You could actually do what you wanted, but yeah. you're pretty transparent about making money on YouTube because you do the like yearly review what I made on yeah, YouTube yeah, yeah, type yeah. videos, which by the way always bang. Just an They're easy, always mate, just an whenever you easy about video. Like any video you can film, but just is like one take, sit down. Uh -huh. That's the dream, mate. That's like. You and I'm, I, everyone's watching it. I'm watching yeah, it because yeah, yeah. I'm there going. I I, I've got. I, I got to see what his CPM is. Is yeah. you know, is he is the fitness CPM to people that don't know what CPM is like? How much you get paid per thousand views on YouTube? And it's so interesting to yeah. see what other people exactly. Like, yeah. I watch. I'd watch other people's. And of like, course. And it, also, yeah. If I was like starting out and I saw that, I'd be like, well, that's that's like motivation to keep going. Yeah. It's a legit revenue stream. Do you know what I mean? So like, yeah. I think it's cool in that sense as well. So what is the CPM on, like on like fitness videos? Like, I I've know, never like, seen a fitness I don't really channel. Ever, I, like, I've never calculated. I know 
I think one thing in my favor a lot of the time is that lots of the videos I've had vi that have gone viral, it's been like predominantly US viewers, and I think that's, I think oh, that's, that's better, that's, right? That's when it that's different. when you cake it. That's, what that's like your Fortnite from, channel. Yeah, huh? same yeah. thing. Most, yeah. most US viewers, CPM just goes. Yeah, I had loads of like army fitness test videos that went that blew up. One particular that went nuts and got like 18 mil views. And that I was, watched that one. That was entirely like probably, you know, teenagers in America that are going to join the army. They've all yeah. searched it and found that. Yeah. And so, yeah, the, the, the revenue was disgusting. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah, and like for all videos to go viral, that's the one you want. Yeah, you know, yeah, the one with yeah, those yeah. Like sweet yeah. American viewers. And that's why I know like you see all these American YouTubers, they're just living differently because over there, the CPM is they've, just yeah, so Yeah, they've, they've got too much money. <laughs> it was, yeah. it, I have this theory as well, right? So when I was out in um, the US, it was me and Harry were in um, LA mm -hmm. and we had to upload some videos while we were out there. And even just being there while we uploaded it, I've always I got a too. higher CPM when I uploaded when I was in LA. Well, do you know what? I also found, yeah, my videos absolutely banged when I was out there. Now, yeah. it could be a all coincidence. My, no, no, no. All mine banged when I was out there. And I want to think it is because otherwise I'm like, brilliant. Like, yeah. I could just go and live in America and do way better. But like, I had a, I had a streak of like five videos that absolutely crushed it, took off. And one of them wasn't even that good. And I was, yeah, like... Um, I, I want to say it's going because otherwise it's going to kill me. That no, no I, I could... that's the thing. Though. So this was during the time of the pack opening, back when I was on my FIFA grind. Yeah. And well, like FIFA yeah, seventeen. Yeah, yeah, FIFA. Yeah, something. Yeah, one of those. And I just remember me and Harry uploading, and we couldn't believe how well these were videos doing. Not only that, but we were getting paid way better for the videos. And then ever since then, I've sort of been there, like there could come a point where it would be more profitable for me to Move send to America, someone fly no 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 fly them over to upload to my video <laughs> yeah, and then yeah, come yeah, back yeah. over here yeah. um as but if vpn's when i exist. started my fortnite channel it started to do okay i changed all the settings on the channel to united states yeah. so when you search up a channel it comes up as a you know American. united states youtuber yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and then it blew up really did, did it have an effect i have no idea but, but every time i talk about so i've had a few times yeah. where i yeah, so like then I've come back home and the next video home is just like bombed, like relatively speaking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. And you're like- Back into the depression, yeah. reality check. Yeah. Let's just stop move, let's. Well, should we just set up the fellows at US? <laughs> Bryce it's... Hall already said he wants to come on. So we, That's can, true. we can start we'll up our, our branch. Yeah. yeah. Are, are you on, are you on uh, TikTok, things like that at all? So like, do you know what? So I, I feel like now, uh, like I'm doing lots of other stuff and I feel like I've got to like, I'm going for like a quality over quantity approach, you know? Like mm -hmm. I, I got TikTok like a, how long, a year ago, and then spent like three hours just getting sucked in. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, it's dangerous in it. I feel like you can literally- Horrendous The app. most like absorbent thing. I was like, what am I doing? Why am I even watching this absolute yeah. shit? And like, I just think two things. Firstly, I haven't got time to like make more content. Secondly, more importantly, I think like, I don't know if my content would like, is like- it's, I don't like, know, it's not fitness my, stuff bang. It does bang on there. Lot, I know uh, PTs yeah, 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 more, there. yeah, but I think it's more like proper cheesy fitness stuff. Yeah, oh no, like it I, is, it is, it is. Like, it is. I don't say like a gimp, but I'm like, I, I train like, I'm like a powerlifter essentially. I train properly. I don't, I don't do like star jumps and like hit workouts. Do you know what I mean? No, so, that's like, chip, that's, that's chip. That's, 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 that's definitely yeah. not me, man. <laughs> so like, do you know what I mean? So I think that's more, it, people that do, do well fitness wise is more yeah. proper gimmicky like, do you know what I mean? I yeah, think, yeah, I don't yeah. think, I don't know. Maybe it would, but I just think what because you, you, you can't even monetize it now, can you? Can no, no, no. Or you, like, you can, but it's, it's just shit. It's shit yeah. I feel Awful. like, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's not for me. I feel like I've missed the boat. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. No. You, the I, thing I, is, I think, I think you know, if you're, if you were just doing like your online coaching, yeah, I would say like, because I, I know a couple of PTs that do just online coaching, or whatever, and TikTok is a because ju you what are just on there, like, Hoover like, just exercise videos. Yeah, like, just, just, uh, you know, they'll show a video of them doing the exercise incorrectly. And then they'll do uh, the next clip is them doing it correctly and showing the difference. And they're like, "Oh, do you want to learn more about this?" Blah blah I blah. Then sign you, up tomorrow. You got a PT right when we first yeah. start getting back in gym at Virgin, and he does and it. He, and you got his TikTok, and he had a few. Mate, he had he did, you just start caking it because yeah. like the people d discover you so easily on there. But the other thing I was thinking as well though is like, is it not a, a significantly younger audience, right? Mm, I think you'd be surprised. I think to begin with, yeah. But nowadays, I think people, yeah. I, I, I think it has become quite popular. In terms of you're trying to sell plans or whatever, yeah, a twelve year old's not going to buy your plan. You no, know? But, but like if it, I guess it is. There's, change, there's yeah. a there's a lot of people and there's a lot of people on there. And that the algorithm is very very good. Like once so you, if you're a fitness if you person, it's going videos, out to fitness yeah. people yeah. for sure. The 100%. algorithm is the best. Of I any think realistically, media. the only way I would do it is if I just had someone that just re just like cut my content down and, and repurpose it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's what we. That's I mean, that's pretty much what we do on our fellas TikTok account. We just Alex cuts it down, bangs it up. Okay, but someone contact me. There you go. The the TikTok. That's all you. 
what sort of job role is that? It, you the, know what? The TikTok it, connoisseur. I just honestly think yeah. it's good for like just generally getting your name out like there. obviously you're already a really big name, but if you just it's just sure. an extra avenue. Yeah. yeah More yeah, people just see yeah, Madness yeah. Fitness and here and there, yeah, yeah. and no, it's very right, yeah. easy to bang videos on there. Yeah. Um, but you've got uh like an app, right? Which isn't. Well, it's kind of like online coaching, but. I'm not, sure. I thought I thought that I, thought he, I was, thought he diluted juice. I was it like, is. you absolute man. No, it's it not is. Like it's squash. squash. No, no, yeah. but I meant like is in actual juice that you drink as it is. Oh, and, I and then I like put water, water in it. No, 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 no. We got some okay. squash here. Although you, Does have, that you have, have vodka. No, no, you have the vodka. So that's. I, I was going to ask you. Don't worry. I'm not missing out on the vodka. Um, but yeah, you have a you have an app. Um, the sick but is that, mate. Can, can you explain it? It's impossible to explain. It's so good. Like I haven't got time to cover. It's just okay. So it's just like a. It's just like, so a typical fitness app, yeah, you get a training plan and you get a yes. diet plan, right? Yeah. But like they're, firstly, most, in fact, almost all the fitness apps I've seen or slash know people who make the fitness apps, yeah. they're extremely like generic and like a cookie cutter. Yeah, so you'll have like yeah, a, yeah, yeah. a couple of options and, that, mm -hmm. and that's it. There's no, mm -hmm. there's no real like periodization or like, oh, it's not really individualized in, in any way. Um, so that's the first thing I wanted to do. I wanted to make sure that, that it, it, there's like an, a ridiculous amount of variables. Like, you know what I mean? Got you. Obviously, like, so that's the biggest thing for an online coaching to an app. Yeah, online coaching, you can charge loads of money, right? But you, I couldn't have more than like 25 clients because I physically couldn't reply to the emails. Yeah? yeah. Whereas an app, obviously you can have, you know, you can have 100,000 members, right? Now, obviously you, you're not going to be able to, I'm not sitting there making those plans as the person comes in because I'm not a wizard, right? Mm -hmm. But what I have done is spent like months in the background putting it, so setting up things whereby this person signs up with this, you know, training history, these, these goals, this weight, this whatever, this yeah. is what the plan they're going to get, you know, and that's that alone, which you think would be pretty standard. That's not the case for, in, for most fitness apps, you know. Yeah. But also like just the interface, it's just sick. Like it just works Smooth. really well. Like, yeah. There's Cause just, there's so many clunky, like shit Android looking ass apps that's yeah. True. Yeah, that's true. that are just horrendous. And then that, that's the biggest thing is when it comes to fitness, I feel like that is such a space that is still yeah. like, still not yeah. been what, what's it? What is the app called? Is it just Matters Fitness it's called or? More, so it's the Morse app. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so like, how long did that take to like get that made? Has that been so, like ages, yeah, years so we, or? Like it took a long time. It took like, like close to a year before we released it because again so i've worked with a company that that helped me build it and you'd be surprised how many people will, will come in and the company will just pitch them a, a a template and they'll be like yeah go that's it and just yeah. it without any you know what i mean so it, uh, this shit. is literally been built from scratch like yep. every element of it is what i wanted to be in there you know right um so it took a long time and then even then when we launched it, there were little bugs and like annoying little things like mm -hmm. you know so it's taken time to get it on it but it's now at a point where it's like sick we've still got more things i want to do you know like because you just want just loads of new updates right yeah, yeah 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 which is just yeah it's it's honestly it's so good and like we also did, we did like a free trial which is a big thing because so whereas previously you had to just sign up and that's it you paid and you're yeah. in yeah um you can now get a free trial so you can use it for a week without paying which Bang. is like it's, it's obviously a risk because like part of me was like, oh, what if everyone just cancels? But then like, yeah. I back the app, do you know what I mean? So like, yeah. I'm happy to do that because I think people will use it and they'll love it, you know, which is I think They'll realize it's worth paying yeah, for. Yeah, but right. that, was quite, that was quite scary as so I was thinking, imagine if you just oh, get, that's stress. everyone just sacks it off, do you know what I mean? You're like, shit, why do they do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, it's also, do you know what? It's also like, again, like what I was saying about the fact that I like train in a serious way, yeah? Like a lot of apps are made by people who who don't like they they just rock up to the gym and just do bum thing. around yeah, do whatever yeah, yeah, like yeah. do some do a little do some star jumps in there but you're really whatever. about it yeah about powerlifting about tracking your progress about yeah, yeah. training in a proper way yeah and so we've brought features in there that allow that kind of facilitate that you know so you, yeah. you're not just doing it and just bumming around and just seeing what happens you're on a proper periodized plan that's going to lead to an, an yeah. end point that's like and in turn because wow. you mentioned a pretty pretty good point was it's not just like any old bloke doing it. But at the same time, it's not just a YouTuber sort of scamming their way through the fitness industry because you have genuine credentials in yeah. terms of like powerlifting, yeah, yeah. right? So what uh, was it? The European it's Championships 2006 silver 16? 16. Yeah, it wouldn't have been 2006. That been, That's yeah. 2016 silver medalist. That is incredible information yes that, is, that is that is very sick thank you very much yeah 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 so yeah so i did that do you know what as well yeah i before i did powerlifting i was like a, a triple jumper which is like the most obscure event i was like a long and triple jumper yeah used to where you run and just jump really far into a and you used bit. to do it for england 
I'll just yes, okay. We can't. We, we, we can't. We can't reveal we can't our sources. We, can't, <laughs> we, we, we <laughs> also <laughs> can't. We can't yeah. take massive credit. No, here. no, we can. We can. This is us. Just take it. Yeah, take it. Um, oh, so it, yeah, you it, used yeah. to used to do that. Yeah, yeah. That that's that's such a niche thing, by the way. How the hell do you get into that? One day, did you just say like, I can jump that fucking lake, and then <laughs> and and then you've you given it a go? Not far off. So like, I used to be a footballer. I played football like, all my childhood. Yeah, and then yeah, we knew that one as well. Yeah, but we just we already did that. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, and we were just confirming that. And then I did like I think it was sports day or something when I was in like year ten or year. 11 yeah and the guy that was doing triple jump wasn't there and they were like matt can you just quickly just <laughs> no way broke a school record mate just broke a school record really yeah and everyone was like you're sick that's it so so at that point it was like because <laughs> i always gonna football that. Then. yeah but do you know what triple jump and long jump especially when you're a kid it's just being fast basically yeah. if you're especially long long jump literally the fastest were you rapid? Kid. Pretty quick, yeah. yeah. But like the fastest kid is the best long jump because you just run really fast. And, and you yeah. see and some horrendous kids, right? but they're, just, they're, they're so quick, they're gonna, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. Gonna yeah, go, yeah they're gonna jump far. So then, yes, yeah, so then I had to choose that football and athletics and I chose athletics and then did it for like 10 years. And in hindsight, like it's good because like you learn loads, but in terms of a profitable career, don't do athletics, mate. There's literally no. I couldn't think no of no money. There, there's like, no bread. Literally, yeah. I yeah. knew. I I trained with it's a guy. Funding, isn't it? I trained with a guy who was like a, a an in, a world indoor silver medalist. Didn't get a penny. Like literally, was getting. He'd get like you know hotel. You get accommodation like kit. You get a few bits thrown at you, but you literally no salary. That's you, when like an info. Uh, that's what when like these companies say, yeah, we'll send you like a free. You yeah, know, uh, yeah, I swear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll send you a free teeth whitening kit, but obviously like you know you're yeah. not going to be getting paid for it. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. made you? What made, What was like the 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 funny moment? He's like, right, you know what? Fuck football. Couldn't do athletics. I think when he, when he broke the school record. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah but but obviously, like, were you like, were you decent at football, or was it, you know, were you a baller? Were you, okay? were you a baller? Were, were you you what, because obviously, like, the money in football. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I played like for my county. I went to like like South England trials. I was deep, I was a centre. Okay. I was an absolute unit of a centre back. Man. Yeah, I love a, that. All like all like I was just quick and, yeah. and Virgil strong. Van Dyke. I was thinking more like Maguire, ones. but. Just Maguire, like, mm. he's an absolute meathead, mate. <laughs> an absolute orc. Like United Maguire, fan. like exactly. Maguire, but not not with a three foot circumference head and like a bit quicker. faster as well, yeah, right? You know? Yeah, yeah. But like, I, what the thing with football yeah, is that when I was a kid, I was I was different. I was not very. I was still like an extrovert, but I wasn't I wasn't particularly driven. I, I don't know. I wasn't away, but I was kind of happy to be in my comfort zone. So I played. I was the best like kid in my year, but I played for like like with, you know like with my mates and my local team, yeah. and like it was a pretty mediocre team. Like had I, there was options to go to like, you know, decent clubs, but I was a bit, I guess scared, like, do you know what I mean? Of, of that, like being out of my comfort zone. So I just stayed at that at that team. Mm -hmm. And so I always found that like, you know, I'd, I'd have an amazing game, but we'd lose and it happened all the time. And I was like, oh, this is a bit shit. Like I'm, I'm good, but like I'm getting nothing from this. Yeah. Yeah. And also like, I had a few little injuries. Like I remember I like, I remember we were at school and we were doing like, who could jump from the highest step? And, yeah. like, and it was like a Them week. classic school yeah, games, yeah, by the way. Yeah. You could make a game out of absolutely like, anything. Yeah. It's a game, mate. Like and literally on the hardest cycle. floor, like yeah. stupid game. And because yeah. I'm just competitive, I was like, yeah, I've jumped from the 20th step or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Just wrecked my ankle. And we were going on like the football tour to America like a week later. Oh, wow. So I had to play the whole tour. Like, I played the whole tour like, like with my left foot. And it was just demoralizing. The combination of just that and then being <laughs> injured. I was, yeah, I, I kind of... And then athletics, it was like a bit of novelty. It was new. It was yeah. going well. Everyone was like, "Oh, you're really good at it." So I just that was it, really. I you did that, and then yeah. and then yeah, you went into the triple jump or the long jump or both. Uh, predominantly a triple jumper. I did a yeah. bit of long jump. As That's well. a hop, skip, and a jump. Yeah, yeah. Again, it's such a it's such a weird. Like, as if why is that even a thing? Why? Why that? is? Yeah. How did that become about? Do you know what I mean? And who decided that would be good for a full time career? Yeah, yeah. That's it's just mental, yeah, and it, it? it's like it's nuts, yeah, because it's just. If you want to fuck your body up, mate, triple jump. If someone said, just go and do something that's going to mess you up, just really? run as fast as you can and then jump really far and land on one leg and then like try and jump again. Like, just yeah. the, if you ever watch triple jump, like, you know, like you watch on TV and you'll see a slow mo from front on. Yeah. Mate, it looks like their knees are going to explode. It's horrendous. <laughs> like, such a like horrendous thing then, to do with your joints and stuff. From there, you then go, yeah, fuck this. Instead, I'm just gonna go and lift loads of heavy shit. Yeah, well, that's the weird thing is I stopped triple jump because I got, I got like a prolapsed disc in my lower back. So I couldn't right. jump anymore. Like I was just a, a wreck for like six months. And then like I started doing like really light squats and deadlifts as like rehab, like just with mm -hmm. the bar, literally no weight at all. And you were just maxed and then I, And then like I just, I just progress like every week I'd just put a bit more weight on, a bit more weight. I did it for like a year, super like Rain Man patient. And then by the end I was like strong, my back felt amazing. And then- Were you pretty like, it. were you pretty naturally big in school as well? I, I wasn't like, I, I was I was like, not skinny, but I was pretty slim. I was like, I guess I was muscular. Like I remember having like, it's quite weird actually. I remember being like, 
I don't know, a kid in like year six and we'd have like who had the biggest biceps, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, like the weird din lady would come and judge, which in hindsight is quite weird. <laughs> that yeah. is now I think weird. about it, that's quite she weird. Just oh like, Matt, those yeah. biceps. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great yeah. job, Matt. You can have an yeah. extra portion yeah, of in, chips. Oh, no. It was always in the bedroom as well. Oh know. yeah, Wait. yeah. yeah. Um, no, no, so like, I guess, yeah, in that sense, I think I, I like w was naturally that way inclined, but like I wasn't big, like I didn't really, like even when I was triple jump, I was I was bigger than other triple like triple jump. That's the other thing that like, I struggled. Right, triple jump was a, a historically tall and skinny. Right, it, not as much as a high jumper, but Fuck that I kind knew, of frame. I should have been a triple mate, jumper. Get like, out there right yeah, now. Yeah, I yeah, said, you're, like, you're more of a high jumper, you know. You oh, know, a high jumper. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, so, I, yeah I but like triple jump. Yeah, they, basically, like if you're big, what are you doing? Do you know what I mean that's just yeah. you try and throw something that's heavy? It's not going to go as far. Do you know what I mean it's pretty basic like mechanics? So I was obviously I was way smaller than I am now, but still big for a triple jumper, and like. I've always been like into bodybuilding to a, you know, like wanting to look big to a little extent. Aesthetically so, like, ple yeah. pleasing. So even as a triple jumper, I still did the odd arm curl and stuff, which was not ideal. Um, and so as soon as I stopped doing that, I was like, this is it. I'm just kind of gonna become an absolute monster. I'm no yeah. longer, you know, like no longer restricted by my body weight. So I just went absolutely nuts. Ate mm -hmm. like all the food, just trained like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and and then you went into the power lifting. How old were you when you started? Like, you would you say you, you were like, okay, the football wasn't it. The, the triple jump wasn't it, but this, this, this could well. be it. Yeah. So how yeah. old were you when you started doing that then? Uh, like, like mid, late twenties, like 20. Really? Would you not say that's quite late to get involved or? Yeah, 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 no, I mean, but like I, I didn't, I, I, I like, had to do something, do you know what I mean? I, I, could, yeah. I could never just be like, oh, I'll stop now. Like I'll just yeah. be depressed. I need something to like, and like at that point, when I started Palatine, I wasn't really a YouTuber. I was doing nothing. I was a teacher, but like I didn't have anything to like, because athletics had been like my life. I was I wanted to be like an Olympic athlete. You know? So that was yeah. for like the last probably five, six years that I was, that's all I did. I trained twice a day. I was obsessive, mm -hmm. you know? And like when that suddenly went, I was like, shit, what am I doing now? Just bumming around, playing like Bravo. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I, so then I needed something to focus on. So then, um, yeah, you know, so YouTube eventually became that, but for a while, and yeah, powerlifting was like a, a sport Amazing. that I could get well into. And like, it's ideal for me because like I said, I have that super weird like Rain Man OCD tendency of like wanting to track everything and like see, be obsessive over like progress. I remember like playing like Championship Manager and like loving like taking the a shit team things. for like yeah. 20 years. Do you know what I mean? League. The most satisfying thing. Do you know what uh -huh. I mean? So like powerlifting is ideal because it's all numbers based. Like you can see that progression over time. Like, you do have to, have to be quite obsessed with that stuff. Even, so nerdy, even yeah. I've noticed that even <clears> just about uh, going to the gym casually, yeah. I feel like if you're not tracking what like either yeah. what you eat, what you're lifting or whatever, you're you're nowhere near optimizing like, yeah. like I almost feel like I'm wasting a bit of my time because there's definitely I go through yeah. phases where I do have that and they're like right boom I'm weighing myself every Monday um yeah. you know I'm tracking on on an app what I'm eating every single day and then that's where I I, I can see and I can feel the progress is nuts yeah. but my problem is then the motivation sometimes lacks or you know I might go on holiday holidays always fuck me up yeah. go on oh, holiday get, too bevved and oh, get peppered I come back and I, yeah or or, or just, just a big night out for two days and we don't go gym and then, and and then it's sort of like getting yeah. reset. Yeah. And if you don't have that, like you said, that sort of real OCD about, about every yeah. number, then you, you're just leaving so much on the table. Yeah, yeah that, that's it. That's the biggest mistake people make here. Yeah. It's not that's live. It's one of the biggest ones. Is yeah. that you see, I've seen people that train like, you know, five days a week. I remember I used to work in a gym and like you'd see guys come in. I remember this one guy that would like train two hours every day, like five, six days a week, every, every week for like months and months. Looked exactly the same. Literally yeah. didn't change. And I was like, "What yeah. is this guy?" And like, that could have been me actually. Think but, about but, it. But like, he would just rock up, yeah, and he'd either <laughs> just completely wing it, like no plan, or he just did yeah. the same thing. You know what I mean? The yeah. same, the same exercise, same reps, same weight all the time. And like, mm -hmm. you're obviously not going to progress. Like, if you're not tracking at least low key, just writing it. Like, I can just write in my notes. I mean, just track yeah. loosely. Oh, I did this today. This weight. This number of reps. And, and then just just beat it. That's pretty basic. That's the most basic like progressive overload. It's just sure. like doing slightly more each week. Mm -hmm. If you do that, you're gonna get you know bigger or stronger bigger, yeah. or lose more fat, whatever your whatever your goal is. Without that, you might get lucky and do it for a little bit. But, you know, as a beginner, you can make progress on pretty poor stimulus. But like after you've been training for a while, you need that at least a little bit of consistency. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It makes it. Yeah. You. You be. A, like so many people, so many people will, will get on a training plan and make loads of progress and think, oh, this is an amazing plan. No, it's, just, it's, just, it's just the plan, just the, the just having a plan in the first place is so much better than having nothing because even a little bit of structured, you know what I mean, like stuff yeah. just makes a massive difference in terms of channeling your like energy in the right place. And, not, like, and getting the results. Yeah, you're not wasting yeah. your time, but yeah. You're leaving yeah. stuff on the table yeah, is what you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah.
No, it's true. Like me, me, me and Chip, uh, we're, we're, we represent like the skinny legends. Well, if he started powerlifting late twenty nine, me and you are on yeah, for Mr. Olympia. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're still, we're still on. <laughs> it. That's the sick thing, yeah, about powerlifting. Like bodybuilding, it's like obviously physique based. Then yeah, as you get older, you're gonna struggle, right? Powerlifting is like a lot of it is skill. Same as like you know, like endurance events, you know, like long distance cycling, yeah. right? You can be sick when you're in your forties because like it's, it's it's lots of technique. Do you know what I mean? Oh Same really? Like golf, okay. Do you know what I mean? Powerlifting, like. You could build no muscle, but you can just get sick at the mo- at a squat and you'll get better. Do you know what I mean? So like that really? takes, you can keep getting better and better for like year. The guys that have been squatting for 10 years and they're still improving their technique. So you can without, because obviously age is going to limit muscle growth and sure. like he recovery and whatever. But in terms of skill, you can keep getting better at a skill. Because when, when I, like for the, I imagine most people, you look at a power lifter and you go, right, congrats, mate. You've lifted a heavy thing, yeah. but like there is way more to it. And like you, yeah. like, People don't like you guys have coaches that like analyze every little yeah. move in what you do. Well, it's right? the same as like what you just said about training. Like you don't need like you can get some guys that are just freaks. You know what I mean? There are yeah. guys that come out and just deadlift like loads of weight with no training at all. Like that happens, uh-huh. but like again, that will only get you so far. Do you know what I mean? When uh-huh. it when it when you get over that initial kind of newbie phase where you can just get strong and, and yeah. massive, then you that's when you need to start making those martial Actually gains. Things, yeah. And that's where analyzing your form and because like like I said, it's, you know people underestimate the importance of getting being good at a skill right like if you look at um like a five-year-old kid right could could throw a ball yeah and then you practice throwing a ball with that kid for like a month and they can throw it twice as far yeah they haven't just blown up they haven't got a massive muscular shoulder they're their just muscles, a whammy exa- yeah. right arm of all time yeah, their shoulders are the same they've just got better at the skill i mean you yeah. get better at a skill it make you can get considerably you know it makes a massive difference sure. without growing any muscle or do you know what I mean yeah so like that's that in itself is a massive thing so like you yeah you can you can also yeah obviously you build muscle and that allows you to be stronger but if you if you perfect a Just skill like, really. yeah that alone yeah. is going to make it's you gonna way better you at something but, so you know like what kind of numbers were you putting up as well like at your peak of you know lifting bench squat deadlift so do you know what right now i'm pretty much the strongest i've ever been like so i, yeah. I, I stopped powerlifting i stopped competing as a powerlifter mm-hmm. like a couple of years ago <clears throat> because YouTube, like I found a YouTube, trying to do both was really hard, you know? Like, yeah. so I, I prioritized YouTube, but like, I just <laughs> I had a bit of time just technically being a bodybuilder, just going to the gym and like, just trying to look better, like, yeah. which is a shit goal by the way, but like, that's what I did for yeah. a while. And then when the novelty of that wore off, it was, I was just like, what am I doing? Like, it's just such a subjective rubbish thing. So, yeah. then, so now I've kind of, the last, especially like, like lockdown, right? I built a gym and, and so like, uh, what else am I doing? Nothing. Do you know what I mean? So I've just been, I've got well into like, again, powerlifting. And I say powerlifting, like just squatting, deadlifting, benching, just trying to get as strong as I can in those three lifts, yeah. basically. Was there, um, was there one that you were, that you excelled mm-hmm. at over the other two? Do you know what? I'm fairly balanced, like fairly. Yeah. There's been times when one's got better, but generally speaking, I'm fairly even across the three. So like yeah. my, my best bench press is 185 kilograms. My best squat Lord is 275. I'd say that's probably the best in terms of like, yeah. Just putting that weight, putting that much weight on your back is like He's very bro, similar, very similar numbers. I'm right not here. getting it off the rack. You feel like you're gonna die, mate. It's not nice. <sighs> and then like deadlift, I've done 310, but I'm hopeful of hitting 320 fairly soon. 310 deadlift. Yeah, that, that just caused me a lot of stress. Yeah, just, just thinking, thinking about, about it. Yeah, like, but do you know what? De- that's like so much deadlift weight. Yeah, but deadlift, if you don't get it, you just you just let go of the bar. Squat. Yeah. If you fuck up a squat, mate, you're, you're dead. You're you're dead. Right? <laughs> bench as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Now benches start getting heavy for me, like 180 plus. It's like because during lockdown, I was, I was training by myself, so like. I'm oh, thinking wow. if I unrack this and I drop it, it's gonna my head's gonna explode. I'm dead. I'm literally the missus can't spot that. Yeah, no, she can, no there's, there's, it. there's no point. Like, even the strongest guy in the world is not gonna have time to catch to curl man. the 180. It's gone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's quite scary. Wow. You're, you're literally holding it in front of you, in front of your face. You're like, you know if I mean? this doesn't go up yeah. here, this Either could I'm be gonna really get a sick bad. VB or I'm gonna die. So yeah. yeah. Which is kind of you know, it kind of helps like that this low key fear is quite, uh-huh. quite helpful. Well, Chip uh, once uh, had a bit of an error in the gym with the bench press. So I've gone to the gym on my own. Brave. No, no, well, I was, it was just when I was absolutely smashing gym. Went to the gym yeah. on my own. Didn't yeah. count the weights properly. So I put on an extra 10 than I could definitely do. Yeah. Gone under the bar, got on it. Just thinking I've got my usual shit going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's come down, I've gone, this is way heavier than usual. <laughs> I've gone to push it back up and I'm like, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. I've had to. Was anyone else in the gym? Nobody in the gym. Completely dead. <laughs> you like shout. Fitness space in Battersea. <laughs> yeah. No, I've had to just roll it down me. Just like awkwardly like. 
Oh no! Someone's got CCTV then, uh, you know, footage. Uh, that's what I was thinking. I was like, "This is defo going to be on Twitter or something." Thankfully, it wasn't. I put, put it back on, took the weights off, and that's fine. humbled myself. So that, and that's called the roll of lower. shame. That's oh like no, a big cl- shame. Absolute classic. Was... Yeah. Oh really? What that? That's like a classic thing. Do you know what? I got really good at doing that. So you, you come down to here, you roll yeah. up to here, and then you kind of got to sit up and chuck uh-huh. it. Up. Yeah, yeah. But like, if you like, I used to train in this the sketchiest gym. Like, no one was there. It was like absolutely dead. And so I would fail all the time, and then I had to get good at not dying do you know what I mean so like I yeah. got good at perfected the art of just getting here and then rolling it down and throwing it off and like if you get good at it it's not that bad you that know, makes like, you really. feel better that you, you had to do it as well yeah but there's a, so many videos of people doing that in the gym oh and, like, mate yeah, you should you know you should, I swear like I should have asked man. asked, should have asked that's, that's the worst feeling though like if but, you haven't done it before yeah and you that Split second when you're like, what, what am I, what am I going to do? How, yeah. What, yeah. Like, literally, what am I going to do? A bar on me. <laughs> no, I literally, I, I will be honest. I was there for a couple of minutes. Well, really, just thinking, really, just thinking. really trying well, to figure out the how audio. the fuck do I, I get the, the audio, how the fuck do I get this bar like, off me? No, no, no. Yeah. Seeing yeah. is, I was trying to make as little noise. You wouldn't have known at the time because you were just in that moment. I was just like, please, please tell me no one's looking at me right now. And I'm like, do you do you reckon it's worse to fail something like that with a packed gym? Or an empty one. I don't know, you know. Because the pack gym, everyone's looking over not, like this guy's not more. dying. Like at least you got someone to come yeah. over and get it. But yes, it is not ideal. It, oh, it wasn't heavy enough to the point where I was thinking I'm gonna die. But oh, okay. yeah, do you yeah, not yeah. notice when you unracked it? You, you weren't like, oh, this is a bit heavier. No, I, d- I don't. Just it, just no, that, honestly, so I, I, I was probably so <clears> close <throat> to just getting it back up, yeah. like one yeah. rep max, and I just was just couldn't do it. And obviously, gym was completely empty. Even the receptionist just wasn't there. So yeah. you were truly No, it's a, it's a very small gym. It's only one person that works there at a time, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's tiny. And That's funny, yeah. man. There you go. I didn't die. I'm still there. Yeah. No, you, 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 like you said, you just built your own gym. That's pretty yeah, sick. Yeah. That, I'd like to do that, you know? Yeah. Best yeah. Okay. I mean, like, again, I didn't really have a choice because we literally couldn't train for like, like if I hadn't have had that, I'd be absolutely fucked. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. That's literally my job. And like, this for like, like my like my mental health like, there's no, like not training properly because like <clears throat> I had a month crossover where I couldn't get to a gym and my gym like, I didn't have my gym yeah. and I was just doing like stuff in my front room like it absolutely oh, killed me mate it's, these home workouts yeah. that people were pushing yeah. during lockdown I, I, I did one and I said do you know what like there is there's nothing yeah. here that is going to make me want to do another one I would rather just get fat just yeah. do nothing like it's true people and at doing, least like, that way you'll see some progress yeah. when you people do go back using, to the like, gym people using like with bricks and I'm doing dumbbell <laughs> run <laughs> I'm just like I, yeah. I respect Can't it but like, some like, of the shit yeah. people were coming up with by the way mental. the maddest yeah. <laughs> the maddest workouts but that's pretty sick and then you are recently opening your own gym for students yeah we've got five we've got five more students. five gyms yeah. uh, i've got questions first of all why students so basically it's this has come about a, a company approached me a company that are, that are building loads of student accommodation like luxury okay. student accommodation and yeah. they're putting gyms in the buildings um and they approached me and said would you like these to be like like you know do you want to work together make them more students that's a pretty sick like it's sick opportunity that yeah, someone's well, so, so my, my first thing was like that's sick but like i'm only doing it if you let me have complete control like, yeah. i'm not having a mortgage gym that's like a shitty room with a cross trainer in yeah rooms. like it's yeah, gonna be yeah, a proper yeah. gym because so, that's like, usually what all these in in building apartment, apartment, apartment build, hotel the gyms worst. are literally awful a gym with like two three kilogram dumbbells yeah. and a rowing machine like that's not a gym like that's yeah. so that's the first thing i said and they were like fill your boots like so they're going to be sick gyms of proper like lifting setup. I want to like change the way you're yeah? like, again, those those types of gyms, yeah. apartment gyms are just, they shouldn't, they are, it's, not, it's not a gym, is it? Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I want to change the way that those gyms are like, because uh, people, they're people's, because those companies, there's, there's loads of them around that will build those those buildings and they don't know any better. Like, a lot of them have massive budgets. They'll just go to a crappy company that fits out gyms and they'll fit it out as a crappy cardio yeah. suite. And say, oh, we can do it for you for five grand. Then, yeah, then well, no, some of them happen. pay a lot of money, mate, but they just, they, just they, they don't know what they want. So they just, oh, they right, trust okay. this other company who are just mugging them off and putting, Right, got you, got you. so I want to make it that that's do you know what I mean like that, that it's not just accepted that you have like I said a a, a shit yeah, yeah, like a, thing. yeah. yeah so, it's but it's because I was setup. I was gonna say I was gonna say like that <clears throat> that would be the if, if a company came, came and said that that would be my biggest fear was that you it, your brand would then just be attached to like these, yeah. you just don't these, want, yeah. these well, don't, shit. You don't want your name. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't yeah. work. Like I said, well, because if, if, if I can't train there, then what mm-hmm. has that, do you mean? And more mm-hmm. gym I don't even use. Like that makes no right. sense. So like, that was the base level is that I need to be So where are these gyms going to be? You so said five spaces. Colchester, Sheffield, Guildford, Nottingham, and <laughs> Loughborough. Yes, mate. This guy's an absolute, what a guy. Yeah, um, yeah. He's, a, he's, he's got the knowledge. He's a big fan of fitness fan. And then, 
That, I mean, yeah, that, that's so, so, and are these people just gonna have access to it? Like just, so, how yeah, does that so, work? So these gyms are for the, so, so for example, Loughborough, it's in like a build, like a student accommodation building. Yeah. It's just a new build. It's got like 500 beds or something. So it's for the students in that building. Yeah. L long term, it will be sick to have like just actual gyms that are open to everyone, you know, like, yeah. But to be honest, like I know a lot of people that run gyms, running a gym is not a profitable thing. Like you're not gonna make much Do you money not from think? it. Not really, mate. Like the overheads of running a gym, it cuts you. I mean, you don't make much money from a gym. Like you, if you if you if you're having a gym, yeah. unless you're going to have like you know hundreds, like a proper David Lloyd chain, then mm -hmm. obviously those are profitable. But, but yeah. if you've got a few, you're doing it because you love doing it. You're not going to make much money from it. Really? And again, the position that I'm in, like, it doesn't. I can't justify going out spending and spending that much. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, it just yeah, doesn't make that. sense. Whereas this is the dream scenario because these guys are paying for it. Do yeah. I mean, I'm just building. I'm just having you're it really as I want, and it's, the, my, it's my gym. So it's just the all the good stuff and none of the shit stuff. Yeah. So, so how does that work? So obviously for, it's. For universities, like, do yeah. the students have to pay? Is like cut price because they're students? No, no. So if the so students are living in, building. in those buildings, so you know, you, you, like you, their uni accommodation. Yeah. So okay. if you if you if you go and buy an, a, an apartment somewhere and there's a gym in the apartment, you use the gym, right? Yeah. It's the same thing as that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I've got yeah. you. Yeah. And you know what? Taking it back for a sec. You know, you said you were building your own home gym, or you have built it. Got it, mate. Yeah. 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 Did you do it like garage or like? So we we brought a new house down our road, which we still haven't even like. It's taken so long, mate. Like. We're, 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 the we're house. Like, yeah, so we're, we bought this house, yeah. Like we wanted to buy a new, bigger house that's more secluded, but like still close to where we are. Um, and so we decided we'd just buy a house and just redo it ourselves, right? Yep. Not ourselves, but like get builders, but obviously yeah, we're yeah. in control of what's happening. Mm -hmm. We're like one step short of just knocking it down and rebuilding it. So it's a massive job, but it's just taken so long. Like they're about to start the build now. So when they start, that's it, it'll be game on. But mm -hmm. it's been like almost a year since we brought it and like nothing's happened. But really? they've ripped it all out now. It's just a shell which has been sat there. And but like day one, brought the yeah. house, built the gym in the garden. Is, straight it, away. is really? it expensive oh, to so build a home gym like that? So the, 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 the house is like, it's down my road. It's like a hundred meters from my house. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm oh. walking there every day and training in the gym. So the house is just a So it's not site. in your current house. No, no, the house it's is built in the, the site, future but the gym one. is at the end of the garden. That's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, priorities. priorities yeah, you don't talk about it. yeah, exactly. Gym, then the house, yeah. But no, and yeah, what Chip Chip just asked there is it quite was it quite expensive building like a spot like that? You know. So the gym costs like I did a video. I think it was like forty something grand. Fuck, that wow. is expensive. You but know? that's built. That's yeah. So first things first. Yeah, I had lots of companies that helped me do it. So that's what it would. That's the cost. I didn't yeah. pay that. Do you remember? That's the cost Got of the you. whole thing, right? The building itself. That in itself was like. I think the building itself was like. 30, 30 grand maybe. Oh wow! It's a proper oh, like. Okay. Do you know what I mean it's like a it's a proper building? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like a. It's not just some. It's not just some like timber shed. in a yeah, shed. Yeah, like, a proper, okay, like, okay, yeah, I get you. Proper building. Yeah. And then again inside it, like we went nut balls out. You know, like I wanted yeah. to make it exactly like my optimal training. Like it does look very you know. cool. Yeah. Great for yeah, pictures. So you've got pretty much all Great the equipment. You, all the equipment you yeah, need. Yeah, yeah, you've got the yeah. benches, squat rack, everything. Yeah. So what's the what's the key to like the good picture? Is it the top down lighting? Is so that the key? It, it depends. Yeah. So, like, H how it depends. Getting, uh, it depends on the shot, mate. So, if you're looking, right. if you're looking for abs, yeah, you yeah, want, yeah. You want. So, first things first. Natural light's the best, right? Spotlights are good. If you're wearing like a vest and you're training, like spotlights yeah. are good, but they're quite severe, quite harsh. Yeah. So, like, it can make it's you, a bit you too look too, like Gandalf. Do you know what I mean? So, like, you want you want right. to. Whereas natural light is a bit softer, but it's still quite effective. Yeah. You want so for abs, you want like a nice side light. Okay. So if you're here, Chip, you're you taking notes. Yeah, yeah, bro, window, yeah. Mental notes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me and you've gone to the moon. Absolutely loving life. Whereas okay. for more upper body stuff, like if let's say you're looking for arms, then you yeah. want a strong down light. The yeah. down light. Okay. Yeah. And so, uh, uh, do we get a nice combination of that in the Morsi yeah. gyms? Because I'm gonna need. You Morsi know. gym is they're they're more like strong down light. So like okay. you look like an old man, but you've your physique looks. Oh, you look ripped, old geezer. Yeah, the old is sick as yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Now good to know you know don't wait everything's, everything's locked right? up <laughs> yeah. you're gonna see it after after this podcast all of us just absolutely just shredded <laughs> yeah, on, yeah. on insta yeah. yeah um no that no that's sick because I, I have actually thought about building my own gym but like making my own like one. for you or like no 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 doing an entire gym as like a business thing yeah but it, it purely just as an idea yeah um so it's interesting to say that they're not that profitable unless you have maybe like a chain of well, them well we i have think a it's, i think it's well. one of those yeah where like you'd have to do it you have to like take the it's in the same way you know like if you're a property developer yeah, yeah. if you want to sell houses you have to do it in a really cold way you're like i could buy a sick kitchen but that's going to cost me more do you know what I mean so i'm going to buy yeah. the most basic kitchen that's good enough that'll do the job but i'm going to make more money on it do you know what I mean same yeah. as a gym if you want to make money off a gym you've got to do it in a way that probably isn't very fun you've got to, do you know what I mean yeah it's not Real like uh tight on your overheads you can't yeah. afford you know you don't want to go and get loads of sick equipment because it's going to cost loads of money so you get yeah. the stuff that's good enough do you know what i mean got that's you. not that's not that, yeah yeah, yeah that's not a job so if i did it i'd build a sick gym just because it would be a sick thing to do i'm not yeah. going to make money from it but it'll be fun and
uh, to be honest, before these guys approached me, that wasn't even in my thinking. Really? You know okay. I mean? That was what I was like, that's sick, I'll do it. Like, so it would be cool. I'm not like, oh, that's my goal. I'm desperate to do that. But if yeah. that happened, then it would be sick. Yeah, but I'm not like, it's not my main no, priority main as such, you know? Okay. That's so interesting. I, I looked, there. there's the, basically where I live, yeah, there's like an Aldi that's being shut down. And it's just a big empty place with a massive car park right in the middle Surely of Surely that would be the biggest like, gym in the UK. That's the dream, mate. But it's like two million pounds to buy it. And I'm like, do, do you know what I mean? You're, ma- You're not going to make it, do you know what I mean? Oh, let's just sick. increase your well, the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. the fellas will invest. The fellas will yeah, invest. Yeah, in this. yeah, done. Wait, uh, well, the square footage on that must be nuts. It's though. massive, yeah. It's like, massive. And it's just literally. Wait, surely it's the up there with town, potentially mate. the biggest gym in the UK. What is the, what is the big, biggest mate. gym in the UK? You, 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 um, you've you've really got, looking at the third, wrong man right now. Third space that. in Canary Wharf, I know, is considered to be one of the like because it's a triple level one. And I've never been to. Have you been to it? No. Third space in Canary Wharf. That's so, is another one that's like it's a triple level. It's, a month, by it's way. massive. It's got a basketball court, in, like, or it did have that, and then they turned it into a yard. One, one of the sickest gyms I've ever been to. Um, I used to go Expensive there. Expensive though, wasn't it? That's why it was like one fifty. Third space, yeah, like one fifty, but that's normal in London, mate. You yeah, pay yeah. one fifty, no problem. Well, what we pay what now? Seventy. Like, well, I pay like one twenty. You pay one twenty. Well, yeah, I got. I, got go, go, I just got Virgin Active, That's and it fucking one. stinks. I hate it. It's not. It ain't I great. It really it. isn't great. You mean it's bad? It literally stinks. No, I just. It's just, it's just, like it's a just shit everything, vibe. bro. It's just a horrendous vibe. Yeah. Like, you know, oh, you go in there. Actually, you go in. You're like. <laughs> and I, well, you know, there's a lot of old people in there that could have shot themselves. <laughs> to be fair, like, but that's the thing. It is very like I, I, I would like to go. Maybe that. The, I think that's why in my in in myself, I'm there. Like, I just want to build one so that I can have a place that I actually want to go and train. Yeah. Because all these places, Third Space Canary Wharf is the best gym that I've trained at. Mm-hmm. But obviously, since moving from from around those sides, that it doesn't make sense to me. But then owning a gym in London is also just outrageously think, expensive. You, you, you're training in a cupboard. Yeah, I just think it'll be. I, I think it'll be sold. I think it'll be. I think it'll be one of those things where you go into it and you're like, oh, this is the dream. And I yeah. think the reality like, this is shit. not the dream. Yeah. People will just ruin it. Do you know what I mean like yeah. no one's gonna like it as much as you? So they're it's gonna so make true. it dirty, put shit all over the place, like yeah. not put stuff back. Do you know what I mean like mm-hmm. you have to? Char- I don't know. I just think you'd it's have true. to. You'd have to be loaded and just do it, knowing you, you know if someone buys a football like Arsenal, right? You're an Arsenal yeah. fan. You buy. You buy Arsenal. You're doing it because you love. You're not gonna make money. Well, you could right. if you want to be an absolute bellem, but yeah. to do it in a good way, you pour money in, buy loads of players. Everyone loves you, but you're not gonna make money. But no. you do it because it'd be fun. Yeah. You know what I, mean? mm-hmm. I think you'd have to have the same I don't approach. do things like that for fun. I need to make some money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we need to get out of I'm not putting Shit that much to rock up in just a shitty Freddie Flintstone type yeah, gym, back bro. Making those loads of money. Yeah. No, I, I tell you what, one gym that, that is really cool. You might have been to it actually. I swear it's in. Mexico there's probably they probably got other versions of it yeah. but it's like a natural gym like they've got dumbbells made yeah. out of like logs there's and a stuff. couple in Dubai proper like really? cliche ones, yeah. you know, they, they, they look sick on Instagram but yeah. I can imagine they're actually very we use one there's one so made by Mike lives in Dubai there's one at the bottom yeah. of his apartment and like it looks cool but like I tried benching on it it's the skip the bench was like, you know what I'm literally. talking about here no no I'm how, how can you just? Descri- how would you what, describe like a, it to viewers? What, like a theme, like that, a what it's made of wood. The, it's like a Flintstones gym. It's like the yeah. stuff's literally. The, the, so where, the dumbbells, where is this? Dumbbells are like Dubai. this big, but they're like ten kilograms. So you're like, oh, yeah. look at this. And yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It does look sick. Yeah, like that's why. Is, is, is it popular though? Like this it's gym. popular. Like I said, there's a, it's a cheesy Instagram. You go and get a yeah. pic there. But a theme, anyone that's trained there, a theme gym isn't a bad idea as long as you could get the weights to be normal. I think. Yeah, it it is kind of themed, but it's just wood. In America, would they have a Dragon Ball Z gym? Yeah, I saw it on TikTok and I won't even lie. The What's place, the theme? The place looked fucking mad. It was just like, you know, when they go Super Saiyan and get super big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a massive like thing, that. yeah. In the fitness scene, that's a massive, like, like, not even a niche. That's like, that Dragon Ball Z, that kind of, like, genre is really popular. Loads Anime. Of, loads of, yeah, loads of, like, Very popular. are well into that. Like, they'll watch it to really? get hyped up and stuff. Yeah. What, what, like a little anime, a little because Dragon like, Ball in Z in fight? Anime, is that what you're like on? Most animes, animes, that's a massive yeah, thing. Yeah. In most I've animes, got, they always level up, right? And they'll become, like, boom, they'll go from, like, me to, like, Matt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that's the next level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I don't really know about it, but, like, that's really popular in that scene, in the lifting, like, training scene. That's massive. Loads of guys have, like, they have like massive collages in their gyms and it's all like anime it's stuff, all just yeah. like Dragon Ball Z shit yeah because you yeah. know when people like first start getting into lifting maybe like a girl's brought their heart they get into yeah, the gym yeah, start yeah. banging weights you know all they're doing is chicken rice broccoli gym yeah. then go home anime sleep same shit next day really yeah. is that like the that, meme that's like the meme yeah, <laughs> yeah that's like yeah, yeah. a bit of the culture or whatever that's anime funny. gym yeah the an- the anim- maybe that's what you need to do bro the <laughs> the anime gym. Gym. and it's just a but bunch of like cosplay bro. girls walking around to hype you up <laughs> oh to get you guys right some some girl dresses like a fucking she walks past while you're about
Not it doesn't dropping, matter. Not dropping that bar this time. <laughs> You're just rolling it down in this some girl <laughs> dressed in some anime costume. I'm sorry, love. Oh man, no, that's um. Yeah, okay. Maybe I'm going to put my gym business on hold then. Not, not that it was actually well, starting. I don't think starting. that's a good idea. Yeah, I'm certainly not doing it with you, mate. What? An anime bunny gym? <laughs> that <laughs> sounds like the creepiest gym. Mate. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't no one's you going to say that. And I know you're there. Clientele, mate. The clientele you're attracting. The neck gym. beard donnies that will just be rocking <laughs> on just <laughs> to get guys, a guys. sniff of some birds. I know armpit. you'll be turning up at 10 p.m. Like, yeah, there, come for a quick session, Chip. Of course you can, fella. Get in. Getting uh, this used to be an Aldi, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably like <laughs> ruin the town. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, people, people like oh, like people from Japan flock to the UK to come to chip. <laughs> anime, I swear anime to chip. God, they would. It would be ram. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Um, but you're not, that's another thing. I'm trademarking that, the idea, by the way. That's that's another thing that uh, all fitness guys seem to do. You had uh, Rob Lipset. He's fucked off. He yeah, said, gone, sack yeah, this yeah, place yeah. off. He's gone to a Marbella, I think yeah, it is. Marbella, um, yeah. You've got Mike Thurston as well. A uh, slightly smaller chest than me, but still a good guy. Um, I was going to say, yeah, that's yeah. what I see. That's what I think. Sure. Yeah, and yeah. he's, well, he splits it. He goes like, Ibiza, Dubai, Ibiza, Dubai, right? Yeah, he's Dubai, but then in the summer, Dubai is like a million degree. You literally just dive yeah, outside. Yeah. So he just comes to the He just goes Europe back. Summer, yeah. And then, th you know, there's probably a bunch of other fitness guys that do it as well. But why... One, why do they do it? And then two, why haven't you done it? So so I think it's two things. Firstly, they, they do it because like they can. That's the first thing, right? If yeah. your job is like is, is on your laptop, you might as well go, sure. why would you not? Why would you be in England? Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, literally, yeah, yeah. what are you doing? Do you know what I mean? Sure. But then also because obviously, so like Dubai is pretty much normal. You wear a mask outside, but everything's open, right? So right. if you're someone that, that, that all their content is rolling around going to the gym and you, you the last year you can't go to the gym so you literally can't work right yeah. like so a lot of them have been going because they can then carry on training and do stuff as usual um the reason i haven't gone is uh, to be honest because like i've got I've got Family. kids and stuff so we went, yeah. we went to dubai recently or not november we actually went a good we went just before you know it became a thing and everyone was getting out so much yeah, shit yeah. for going we were me and chip were the same yeah we, we went, went just I think you were there do you know what i think because because you were there with bears weren't you yeah yeah yeah. i think you were there like the same time as me you know yeah and but, we, but, we, but we we smashed it by the way just before it. got yeah. back just before it, it, everyone was like off. absolute oh. You I guys are goes, scum. Yeah. What are like, you doing out there? I was like, yeah, I can't believe you're going to Dubai. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's sickening you yeah. lot. That is sickening. Yeah. Uh, Do you know what that, yeah. that whole thing, yeah, like I can, I, on the one hand I can understand because like I can see how it would be annoying and especially, I, I, think, I, I think it was on like Good morning, Britain, or somewhere where they interview this woman. Oh my! Like, oh no, like, no, no, no! I think they do it intentionally to make us look bad. You know? Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they pick like, these. This is like the, the the figurehead of like the people on the social media people. She, like, she was strong. And, 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 Who is it? Where have you found this person? She Who had like she? 10k followers. It's like she can't represent the big boys. Yeah. She can't represent the big guns. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what was she saying though? She oh. was just saying oh she was God, like uh, uh, they this, were like yeah. mugging her off so much. Like so, while she was talking and saying about how she was like, you know, yeah, I had to do it, like you know, for my business. Um, I, I, I inspire people and it shows her like riding a camel and stuff and like <laughs> it's, and it's, then it's her doing a workout in a hotel oh, room no. and you're like well yeah. you didn't need to be in Dubai to do that mate like it's a terrible example of like do you know what I mean but so in that instance I can see why that would be annoying because she's literally going there to have a good time mm -hmm. right? yeah 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 but then at the same time like if someone's job if you can if you can be genuinely doing your job and also having a sick time and that's sick like good on you like yeah 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 people, I think people are people begrudge that right because For their sure. job doesn't facilitate that so that they're jealous and like they begrudge yeah. that, that opportunity but that that's like that's a part of society or like human nature that I despise. Yeah, it's like that whole thing of like, oh, if, if I can't do it, I don't want you to do it. You yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember like, like when I was teaching, a few times I'd go and do like when when YouTube was starting to be a bit of a thing. I go to like events and stuff, and I have a couple of days of school. And again, school was so cool about it. Yeah. Some of the teachers, I had a couple of like colleagues that would complain about me doing that. That's I was like, what? so weird. Why do why you, do you like, care? People actually, just, like, why do people you genuinely care? just need to chill. Like, just yeah. enjoy your life. Like, yeah. just. Yeah, yeah. On your own shit, Again, like. if that's me, I'm like, good on you. That's sick. I'm glad Have you're fun. having a good time. Yeah, fill yeah. your boots. Like, why does that affect me? Like, do you the, know what I mean? The other thing with the with the Dubai like thing was like, at the end of the day, we followed the rules. Oh like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Ultimately, those were the like, rules the in base, Dubai. The baseline was yeah. that we could go. Yeah. And so we went. Yeah. And then there's people there just pissed off that they didn't go. Yeah. And yeah. like that's that's URL. Hold I, that. I know. So. 
Um, yeah, that that Dubai thing. Yeah, that's it. that was so. But when that girl came on the uh, yeah, Great British, I was, like, I was oh, crying. She's there like she, she, I wish, I, saying, I, wish was, I saw this. She's kept saying like, "Oh, I'm motivating people." But as she was saying it, yeah, <sighs> they were whacking up photos yeah. of her like next to the pool with like a cocktail and that. They like, honestly and, just oh, absolutely <laughs> like they. She, she just did it to get a bit of like publicity, and yeah. they did it because they were like, "This is going to be we're going to have a dream like ideal scenario here." Just absolutely. But that's the For thing really is that so. most people that's their perception of like an influence. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You're like, but oh, you, nice kn- you know you they, they've cherry picked it so the well. The worst, yeah, yeah, so well. Yeah. And I, I went on, I went on that girl's Instagram page afterwards, and I'll see you there. Just like, oh. was she getting like a ton of hate and shit? No, uh, she turned off her comments. <laughs> oh, of course. Which, uh, you, <laughs> yeah. You, you, yeah, she she didn't really have much choice to be yeah. honest. Yeah. 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 Imagine she but you know, maybe maybe thing. now she's blown up off the back of it because you know how sometimes those things that catch traction and then uh, and yeah. next thing you know she she's caked it. Yeah, no, it's possible. Um, but you you went out to Dubai with your family, yeah. um, and you have recently had your second child. Yes, Congratulations! We'll get much. a round of applause with our audience. <laughs> wow, uh, we got a full house today. You see, um, how's that going? What's it yeah. like? What's it like being a dad? Yeah, you, so like I was just saying earlier, like I'll be honest, yeah, the first bit is like not the best, right? Yeah. Because in, in the, I, I liken it to like a cat, right? Like a cat, yeah. What, what are you getting from a cat, do you know what I mean? Like cats are dogs. so shit, can we dogs. agree cats are shit? I think dogs give you something back, yeah? They're yeah. Cats are they, Dogs are like, loyal. you come home, they're like the happy, they're like literally yeah. the best boat of my life, yeah. right? Yeah. A cat, they're like, right? Like, they're, do you know what yeah. I mean? They're they couldn't give a shit. shit. Similar, a baby, like you don't really, when it's your first, so with Luke, when it's your first child, it's more of a novelty, and you're like, oh, that's kind of, it's, it's, it's kind of cute and stuff, right? But the, the, the work that you need to put in, I don't think you get enough back to, do you know what I mean? It's not a level playing field, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah But yeah. then it slowly starts to tip. And like I said, when, when they get older, so when they get to like one, like they, then, they, then they start becoming a person and then it's just sick. Then there's like loads of good things. Then it's definitely worth it. But that first bit is tough. Is, is tough, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. Luca, your yeah. Uh, your first child, is like, uh, a st- like people love him yeah, in your yeah. videos. Like, yeah. not as in, he has his like He's own cult follow- following. following. Yeah, yeah. Really has, it's yeah. not all the co- yeah. like a lot of the top comments on your videos yeah. are yeah. Lucas absolutely smashed it. If I was if I was a horrible person, yeah, you could have an absolute field. Like going back to TikTok, yeah. yeah. If I just made TikTok videos of Luca, Look, they'd blow oh, up. Yeah, absolutely. You can make, like merch. Can you imagine, if, mate? Like, if you're one of those weird Russian channels that have those, you know, like the weird, like you know, what they call, you know, they do weird stuff in their house where it's like. They have a guy in a mask chasing him around. It's yeah. proper yeah. weird. You're like, what is this? These <laughs> yeah, kids are like, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Like trapping, but, but like, yeah. So I, I feel like we have a good level whereby he's in the videos because it's kind of unavoidable, right? I can't yeah. vlog and not have my family in it. Sure. But I feel like, it, yeah, I, I'm happy with the level it's at. And and he's, but were, are you not surprised at how good he is in front of camera? Yeah, he's just, yeah, yeah. He, he's just. He's or is that a, just is that no, just no, him he's all just the time? Got a sick vocab, like he's really. So yeah, the first the first thing is. Like he's just yeah. Even when he, he was talking when he was like ten months, like you have a proper chat with him. Like he's he's funny. He's really, a, he's a proper little like That's funny guy. But he is like you said. He's also like I think it's funny. I think because obviously I've been making videos for his whole life, right? So yeah. he sees me do it. So then he picks up on it, and so he has like the same kind of tendency, intonation and stuff. Yeah, like the way he's talking. Yeah. He's like, hey, how, how, how old is he now? <laughs> so he's four and a half now. Yeah, yeah. Which I, is a sick I, see, I haven't seen him before. I I watched. Uh, but booted yeah. up your chance today, put on the 25k calorie challenge, we'll which by the way is we'll absolutely that, nuts. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. you've got Luca and then your newborn Wait, son, good, yeah. another son? Yeah, it's called yeah. Mauro. So okay. Like six weeks. I'm just trying to like create a family picture in my head. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> just trying to get yeah, yeah. the vision ready. Um, but yeah, I, I remember seeing one intro. It was an, it, it, I forget which one it was, but I just remember thinking like, there, this guy has to be like in front of camera, like for, in the future. Like yeah. he's literally yeah, made yeah. for it. He's absolutely crushed it. Yeah, um, and do he, I, get, I, I assume that he obviously enjoys it. Like he. Yeah, yeah. So do you know what? So those intros, I haven't done one of those for a long time because yeah. like, he. So he loved doing them, yeah. And it got to a point where like. He, did, he still was happy to do it, but he wasn't like buzzing. He used to be proper excited to do it. And then he got really? to a point where he's like, he was still happy to do it, but he wasn't like, I don't know, he'd rather be doing something else. And I was yeah. like, I don't, I, I, I never wanted to, I've always said it, I'd never have it at a point where it's like, like wheel him in for the views. Here he comes. Come on, Luke. Come yeah. on, come on. We'll yeah. go get an do ice cream mean? after you this. You look like Macaulay Culkin. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. You're like, mm, I don't want my kid to be like that. So for sure. I feel like we've cut it off at a good point. So yeah. like I said, he's in the videos and it's like pretty organic and. Like I said, it's, it's kind of, if you're a vlogger, it's pretty, it'd be harder not to get him in because how can I film my life sure. without my family around? But yeah, I feel like that kind of had to be phased out because it's, yeah. 
Yeah, if he's not feeling it, don't want to cash in on him too much. Though. Nah. Yeah. Well, I, I'm, you know, the next step, like obviously, when your, your second child then becomes a bit more like Straight camping, in. it's got to be family <laughs> channel time. It's got to be family. Oh, channel. You know, Matt does family channel has gone to the moon. Matt does family. Oh, you know. Oh, again, I just think like I think, I think yeah. You look at family channels, right? Yeah. Do you not think? Well, oh, they're horrendous. When the camera goes they're off, they just they're have the most horrendous. horrible dynamic. Like yeah. I bet they're just very possible. Not this, very yeah. nice. Do you mean? I mean? I I I think the but family with the money, but with the money coming in, I'm pretty sure the family's pretty happy. Yeah, yeah but the kids aren't. But the kids aren't. That's a good point. Yeah, the kids are hating the it. Stuff they, like, I've seen, I can't remember the, what's like the one, the big, is it, is it family. Is family. Is that, is that Austin McBroom? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Filming like labour and stuff like. Oh, eh? I feel like there's got to be a line. Do you know what I mean? Oh, there's I definitely that's a just... line. Like you stop. Oh the my God, yeah. my missus vagina's massive. Yeah. <laughs> Get a load of yeah. that, Jesus. Oh my God. Yeah, like, do you know what I mean? I think, I just feel like. The thumbnail, I can see it. All right, hold on one <laughs> yeah, second. Yeah, hold yeah, the baby. Yeah. Hold the baby. <laughs> this, this is not what I expected from this podcast today. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I think like, I, I don't know. I, I think like when, yeah. oh, you know, right? When you're filming, it's not the same as real life, is it? Like, yeah. there's an element of like, you, you can't fully be in the moment because you're having to think about making the video, right? Yeah. yeah. If you're filming everything, like, I think your just, life's yeah. a bit shit because no. you're just constantly having to do it's that. It's like blurring, that's just... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't, I don't think I would like that. I wouldn't. I, 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 I mean, everyone knows that I keep my stuff like super private. I, I don't have anything like that. So um, I'm definitely like one of those. But I would never have yeah. like a family channel or anything like yeah. that. But it's just so insane that, you know, you've got your kid and he's just so good in front of camera. Yeah, yeah. And I, I just, yeah. I remember seeing it and I was thinking like, it's almost like he's like a child actor at this yeah. point. Like the way he just you, manages. You bear mind, because everyone off. says that. you got to bear in mind, yeah, like, that the intros will are like obviously scripted, so it's like yeah. I say something and I tell yeah. him. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I yeah, yeah. Some yeah, people yeah, are like, yeah. oh, he's really. You're like, oh, he, it's as if he'd done everything off the cuff. Yeah, it's not yeah, an actual yeah, conversation. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 he was doing yeah. it when he was two. Like, I, I think people will be like, oh, I'd love to meet him. And I'm like, would you no. like? Because in real life, he'd be like, he's not a he's not an adult. He'd, he'd be really awkward and he wouldn't. He'd just like run away. So like, yeah, yeah. I think people forget that it, it, I, I've said, oh, Lucas, say this, and he says it. Like, yeah, and he's sick at. He's awesome at like saying stuff and like he's he's like a proper little like tape recorder. So he'll hear something and he'll copy it and like he'll want to know he's how good to at say. that. Yeah. Right now he's like into dinosaurs like to a ridiculous extent. Like right. talking I proper that like you're like mm, that's a bit weird. But like he's yeah. so like yeah. he knows about forty thousand different or proper long dinosaur names. But like if he hears it, he wants to learn it and then do you know what I mean? He's that's like interesting. Sponge. Yeah. So it's the same with language. He hears words and he wants to say them. Do you know what I mean? So he's got wow. a really good vocabulary, which with that was ideal. Yeah. But yeah, in <laughs> obviously in real life. If you try to have a chat with him, he is four. You're not yeah, gonna get yeah, you got to remember that. <laughs> yeah. like, the geezer is that. Yeah. Yeah. This kid is sounding yeah. like he's built yeah. different, like a little yeah. super soldier kid. Yeah, no, he is uh, a he is a cool kid. Get him on I want, I, I, Do you reckon it, it'll, it'll come up with your genetics? Because you've obviously got he's really good mate. genetics. He's be an absolute monster. He's mate, gonna, what happens just, if if he comes out and he just just does it? Yeah, I failed. Five foot five, built like me. Five foot five, Johnny. The worst. Just tiny. I mean, it could happen. It could happen. I feel like. I don't know. I feel like he's going to be an absolute monster. But yeah, yeah. Get get him, get him uh, cleaning early doors. That's it, straight in, yeah. yeah He'll yeah. be power lifting by the time he's 12. <laughs> yeah, oh one of those my absolute, God. like you see in like Korea, like YouTube videos. Yeah. Seven year olds doing like massive back squats. Yeah. Nah, there's some real sus ones. I, I remember I used to watch like videos of like the 12, the world's strongest 12 year olds. Dudes like ripped and jacked and I'm there like this, 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 this there's some science like, behind like this kid. I watching that kind of stuff. Makes me realize that really, not not really well. fumbled <laughs> the bag. That's the thing. In like, in like, uh, like, in like in the Eastern European countries, they'll they'll pick up kids for sports when they're like five. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So a gymnast will be from when they're five, they'll be a full time athlete. Same as like yeah. weightlifters and stuff. And like nine out of ten just get injured and stop. But like the one that st st sticks it, it becomes like the best in the world. Do you know what I mean? That's how they do it. Yeah. It's, it's horrendous, but like that's the best way to get joined because that kid is being exposed to the skill every day when they're five. Yeah, they're going to be a sicko, just... but also probably an absolute but, weirdo as well. Well, not only that, but then like you pretty much signing off for a crippling depression by the yeah. time they yeah. like 25, 26. Yeah. Like, they're if done that, out. mate. Like, yeah, yeah. You know I mean? like it's, it's with all these like young Hollywood stars or whatever. Like by the time they they start getting to like 22, 23, like it's yeah. done for them. They're off the rails. If you don't have a three year you know stint on World of Warcraft or RuneScape, you've yeah. not you've not had enough character development. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you really haven't. But I always think like in, you know, you see like, you know, when you see a film or you see a, pro, you, know, you watch uh, like Modern Family, have you seen Modern Family? No, I haven't. So there's I've like a, any program that has a kid actor in it. So there's a kid in this yeah. that must be like five or six that's in every episode. Yeah. Like with Luca, I can regulate it so I can say, right, let's film a bit now and then we're done. And it's like on my terms. Yeah. If you, if you, yeah. if you have a kid that's in a TV program, they're like on set like every day. Mm -hmm. like, Relentless. I can't get my head around that. That's weird. Right. Yeah. 
You get the but kid just let him go do what he wants to do. Sort yeah. of thing, right? Well, so. they normally when they have like kid actors, I swear they're always a few years older than the actual yeah, age yeah, that they're yeah, playing. Yeah, so yeah. you might have like a nine-year-old yeah. playing a five-year-old. And I, I'm pretty sure the laws are actually pretty strict on how much it must you be can like keep a nightmare. It as, a, as a producer trying to get a kid, that must be a nightmare trying to get them to do stuff because I'm sure you can't just be like. Come on, fucking, yeah. mate! This is take five. You fucked <laughs> yeah. these lines up five times. Yeah. Our budget is running thin now. It's yeah. like you know when uh, you know Watley Road. All yeah. the actors that would play the 16, 15 year olds, fourteen year olds, yeah. they were all like twenty three plus. Really? All of them. Like, yeah, they just get away like, with like it. Like, like uh, is it like Skins? What was it? There's a program where it was like when you when you, when you get teenagers skins and, 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 and there's like nudity and you're like. Is that illegal? Like, yeah, and they're obviously older. <laughs> Presumably, yeah. the actors are older because otherwise yeah. you're like, mm, you're is like, a bit sus. Yeah. Like uh, a, <laughs> a slight legal loophole here. Um, <laughs> yeah. Does anyone check this? Or? <laughs> but yeah, so. Uh, we, you had that, and then now you've thrown me off. Now I don't really. <laughs> don't I don't really know. On the topic of making fifteen-year-olds, let's. <laughs> let's, <laughs> really, let's then, you've hit, then you've hit record. <laughs> um, you you are a good friend of um, the first person that ever came on our show, Ethan uh, Bazinga, yeah. which is fantastic. And you guys are part of the the Gym Shark family. And then what are the you you also do work with My Protein as well. Um, is there anyone else that I'm missing, or are those the two main yeah, ones? Like, mate, so like, oh, so I have like Legend London X site. And I have yeah. muscle food. Oh yeah, yeah. But like, but Jim Shark and my protein, they're the main two, yeah. And they're the OG. Cool. Like, my I've been with my protein for like a long time, just since really? like I very first started, pretty much, yeah. And how did how did that work? It, was it just you were posting and then they contacted you? Did you have? Yeah. Did you so meet with, someone there? How, like, how does that sort of thing work? With back in the day, because I'm a big. Everyone says, oh, you know, like um. Just the thing is, they say, "Oh, you just do your own thing, and then they will come to you." Like that works to an extent, but like also, it doesn't. Like if, if you ask, like, if you don't ask, you don't get. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, yeah. within reason, don't ask for like, "Oh, can I, you know what I mean?" For ridiculous things, but yeah. if you ask, if you, you know, a lot of things I've Let's got, I've together, got because I've gone out and said, "Do you want to do this?" Yeah, yeah, and yeah. They, and they have. Do you know what I mean? So That's awesome. You have to do that as well, but like my protein, I think they, I think they approach me. It started out those things typically you start they just give you free stuff right they're like oh have some protein classic do a youtube feature or whatever yeah and when you first start you're like oh this is the best thing i'll yeah. make like 10 i am a my protein videos athlete. about one bag of protein yeah like but then obviously then it develops into like a salary and, and yeah. there's other like various bits but yeah with that one it was they came to me yeah I think all the ones like nowadays, most of them they are all people will come to me and then yeah. Like, you got like, to the stage where it's, I have it's to fend off a lot of absolute Re shit. Like, yeah, I was about to say in the because the fitness world makes a lot of money. People don't actually like quite understand how much money like is in the fitness world, um, and with that comes a lot of bullshit yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, so I can imagine there's probably quite a lot of like lucrative offers that get fl oh, yeah. uh, like flo floated around, yeah. but it's one of those where it's like yeah, but ultimately like your product and if and 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 that reflects poorly on you. Like obviously my protein and Gymshark two credible companies, oh, companies and yeah. and you've got nothing to worry about in terms of you know what yeah. they get up to for the most part. Yeah. Um, but you know there's definitely companies that will flash. A big load of mate, cash. I've had to turn yeah. down some so like outrageous stuff, ones. Mate. Yeah, ridiculous stuff. And you're like, oh, like, do you know what I mean? Could I just? But what if the what ifs? Yeah. Like, oh, you maybe. Just think, yeah, that, like you get people that go on. You know what I mean? That go on like one of those reality TV shows and like yeah. get a million followers overnight, and then just yeah. do an absolute shit ton of those like teeth, like you said, like teeth ones. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Classic. Mate, like, we got to stop months. plugging them you too much, bro. Yeah, like, it's true. For it's real, true, like, we're yeah. catching our bag. Like, do you know what I mean? For like six months. Because, and again, fair play, like, because they, mm -hmm. they, I mean, most of their followers are like probably 12 year old girls, so they might as well just maximize it while they can, make some money, fair enough. Yeah. But, like, yeah, that's that's one avenue to go there. If you want to be legit and, like, be taken seriously and have it actually yeah. engaging, like, a following that actually engages in your content and, like, is loyal and trust and stuff, you to promote good yeah, stuff. Then you've yeah. got to pick and choose. And it's, it's playing the long game, right? Like you said, you could accept one of those brand deals, get loads of money now, but then yeah. is that worth it for the re for like the impact that's going to have on you and how people perceive you? You're better off yeah. being a sicko, and then uh, over time you'll get stuff off the back of that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, there's a couple of fitness guys that I follow on Instagram, uh, guys I've met and stuff, and Who they. Hit me? Go. Who are they? Yeah, um, on, okay, so we got Elliot B. Fit, if you know him. Absolutely. Zach, Zach no, no, Perner. No, he's a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I met these two guys together. Yeah. Really nice guys, and I see Zach Perner. Wait, who is the other guy? Zach Perner. Oh, okay, he's like yeah, Australian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's a funny I think guy. he might be with Jim Shark yeah, or they yeah. both might yeah. be actually. Yeah. Um, but, but I think it was Zach who brought out, recently brought out maybe his own pre-workout. Yeah. And is that something like, 
because obviously you're with my protein and stuff so i'm assuming you the more do that. range so exactly that's what you've got so, so he so he's sponsored by ehp labs and okay so that's it's like a limited edition like it's like he's doing that they've like done a collab essentially do you know what i mean oh it's like so them g4 like, g fuel collabs you know yeah, when like yeah, 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 yeah so it's like his own it's a flavor, flavor. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay yeah, yeah. okay yeah. Got oh, you. it might even be i don't know if it's a flavor. it might be an actual product yeah, product mean, okay but yeah it's that yeah in the same vein so we've got something in the pipeline yeah, we got something. That, yeah, so okay. I was gonna say happens, so because it's interesting. I I also had this thing is that obviously if you are sponsored by a, a company like Gymshark, are they cool with you like making your own like Matt does fitness that's apparel? The, the, like that, that must yeah, be yeah, such a weird line. That's the big thing with like brands is that obviously most of them want that exclusivity. Yeah, mm -hmm. understandably, right? If you're like. If, if someone's sponsoring me to wear their clothes, if I go and wear other similar competitive clothes, it's like mm, a Don't bit, really bit of a sense. mixed message. You know yeah. I mean? so it's understandable, but yeah, that's the hit you've got to take. You know what I mean? Like right, you've okay. Got in some aspects. So for example, um, so Legend London, I'm wearing these jeans, right? Yeah. If I go and wear another pair of jeans and I, I'm like, oh, look at my sick jeans from wherever, then obviously that's, you can't do, I could do that, but be, that would be quite annoying. So wait, you so, have a jean sponsor? Yeah. Because you that's wear the fit, tight, mate. mate. That's a classic fitness one. Mate, your, your jeans are the tightest jeans I've ever seen. If we stand is up, like these are- Is that just because like the size of the legs or like, because, do, because those yeah, on me, so those will be I, baggy. If I want to wear like, <laughs> very, if, I, if I want to wear jeans here, I have to get like fattest jeans, mate, like 50 inch waist. A because jeans I won't get them over sponsor. My quads. 50 inch waist. That's the, again, that's the good thing about the fitness scene. Yeah, that's, that's standard, mate. Everyone has a legend under all like some, Jeans, you know, like fashion based clothing sponsor. That's a pretty standard one. I'm just a looking at them quads right now. Bro, and I just can't really wrap my head around them. Like, like because the fitness, the, again, like, I think one of the reasons it's profitable is because it's like, if you're in the fitness scene, you're probably quite vain. You're probably yeah. into your appearance. Of course. And therefore, lots of things tie in with that. Do you know what I mean? Things right. that are appearance based generally yeah, yeah, are yeah. quite profitable. So it kind of goes hand in hand. I guess like there are other genres, you know, if you're in a friggin', if you're like on a fishing channel, yeah. not many avenues to go from there, you know? Yeah. Tackle, I guess, is Ch quite big. Check out this rod. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The titanium <laughs> rod. Yeah. It's a big one. The yeah, stiffest yeah. rod we've ever produced. Uh, I, are you talking about fishing here? Yeah, well, I thought we were talking about fishing. And he, he mentioned tackle first. I just brought in the rod. When uh, you put the rod and the tackle together, you get a bargain. Winner. You that's get a deal. Winner, yeah. So, you know what? I'm we so need innocent. To, I'm, I'm so mad. innocent. Have you clean these glasses? Because I've just been drinking out of this merrily. If I get tuberculosis or whatever you can catch from a dirty glass. I'm well, you, we'll find out. Right. <laughs> Let's just send it. Yeah, 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 we'll find out. Not tomorrow. Out. Plus, I, I feel like Duff's dad's a bit of texture anyways, personally. What do you think? I, have, I don't I even know this guy. You wouldn't notice, would you? It'd probably just be... <laughs> no, but that is interesting. We actually, usually, you, the people in the comments will get on to us. We, we didn't actually run through what have we're you, drinking today, but... Be honest, is that nearly all gone? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, it's like this. And how, 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 many, many, calories how, many, calories, how yeah. many calories in that? It's not that many. I was just saying earlier, it's like trying to come by calorie dense. Wait, are you after calories hard. right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. I've got a very fast metabolism. So if I don't eat enough food, I just lose weight. Like I lose weight very quickly. As a powerlifter, there's literally a complete correlation between gaining weight and getting stronger. You get bigger, you look at strong men, they're absolute yeah. monsters. Yeah, right? wedge. The, the heavier you are, the stronger you are. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bench press. If your chest is bigger, you, the bar's not going as far, you're gonna bench. See, more. that's my excuse. That's simple. my excuse. Look how yeah. long these arms are, yeah? You are not and look how tiny pressing, my yeah. fucking chest is. Now, even me, I'm, okay, long, like, I'm not built to bench press. Like, it's yeah. not ideal. When well, you look at the best benches, they're, they're like, do you know Yeah, it's like, tiny. Yeah, and then, and then, yeah. by the way, I'm seeing some absolute fraudulent behavior. So I understand you have to arch your back, right? Which is fine, and I accept that. Okay, but yeah. these lot are taking a fucking piss. I There's swear a massive debate right now about that. It has to stop. So the law is yeah, your shoulders and your yeah. bum have to be on the bench. Yeah, I've seen this. Some particularly women that can literally get snap an arch, themselves in half, yeah, like an exorcist type thing. Yeah, yeah. which means that their their bench is like, yeah, it's, you it, can't even see it. And also, yeah. you're allowed to grip us. Everyone has the same. You know, on, on a bar you have those little yeah. rings, little yeah. marks. Yeah, you have to be in contact with those rings. So. Yeah. So for me, that isn't, that's like here, right? Yeah. For a girl that's like five foot two, that's going to be like here. Which is even so less distance. Arch, she's here, do you know what I mean? You can't, the bar doesn't even move. So there's a big debate about how, about how they could like, some people say, oh, you know, make it across, like vary across weight, weight class. So as you get, as you get lighter, the yeah. hands have to be closer. So it's relative to your size. Yeah. Because otherwise you've got a guy that's 25 stone, which for him is like this. And like I said, a girl that weighs seven stone that's like out there. Way out there, The range yeah. of motion is like nowhere Nothing. near the same. And like I said, couple that with an arch, it becomes just it's like a farcical. Take. Yeah, it looks ridiculous. Yeah, so th that's my excuse anyways. Is yeah, I'm not like, exactly. that. That's, that, that's why, why I'm benching bench. like, <laughs> actually, I don't even want to go into- What that bench you dropped, what was that by the way? The that was 60. 60. Okay. That's pouring it. That is. Well, look, that's at the, look at the size of me. 
Yeah, yeah, no. You know what? I was and actually. This was early door, early doors for him. I was yeah. fifty three kg. I'm about five eleven. That's crazy. Fifty three kg. When you did that, was that like? Were you, was then, that quite far into your gym? Like, um, no, no, no. Pro- like probably not. In fact, I don't pretty much do normal bench at all. Yeah. The f- first time we did it the other day in ages. Yeah. I normally just do the dumbbell because when I started going gym, I noticed that just like one of my pets was growing like yeah. well and the other one just wasn't and uh, so I spoke to a bunch of my friends like why is that happening and just like do dumbbell bench press instead to be honest yeah do you know what if I wasn't if I was just a bodybuilder dumbbell press makes more sense right mm-hmm. because it's unilateral you're doing a bit, like you said if, you, if you're one side stronger machine's even worse it, you want to like any a bar not as bad but still it's it's fixed so like if one side's stronger you're going to press more with one side you're yeah. Gonna, yeah and that's you're going to you're gonna hit that side more. With yeah, dumbbells, so you, you can't time. cheat. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. gonna be. Well, when I switched over to the dumbbells, it literally started out balancing out, and then yeah. I just went for it, and I went from 53 to like what 69, and that was in a short space of time. To be yeah, fair, yeah, like yeah. four, mo- maybe four. Well, months. yeah, you just put on like, like, a, like a, a smash 20. percent Yeah, I was no, just eventually like, thought like I just I'm but so light, I'm literally so skinny. And banging those, bang yeah. If if you could if you could give skinny yeah. skinny legends out there or even uh, uh early beginner noob gym goers uh to increase their bench press what would be like the one thing you'd be like look this is this will help you out quite a bit so is like it- so obviously just bench press right like people practice I think people yeah. so people think like people say oh, what's the best thing to, to improve my bench like you know mm-hmm. should i do like a dumb should i do like a machine chest press like just bench, you know what I'm saying about the, skill, about the skill earlier on. Right. The bench press is that any lift is a skill. Do you know what I mean? Like you can do something close to it, but it's not going to be the same. You can get sick at dumbbell press. It's not going to make a big difference to, to, to your bench press. So the best thing is to, to do that skill to frequently, it, right? Yeah. Beyond that, just eat more food. Like with skinny, yeah. like I used to work at a school and you get so many like 16 year old guys that want to get massive mm. and they're like, I'm training every day. I'm like, you know, all this, all this work, why, 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 why am I not getting bigger? And then you analyze their diet and they're having like, a pack of quavers and playing Call of Duty for 12 hours, like you're not going to- Sounds, like, bro. sounds, sounds like a personal Saturday, attack. Saturday, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's true though. It's, it's, it's like, it's, it's, a, it's such a, it's such shit advice because it's so, you're like, oh, obviously, yeah, but like eat more food. Like, Consistency. If you are not gaining weight, you are not eating enough food. Yeah. That's it. Like literally right. that's it. And like, if you struggle to eat, because I've, I've had it in the past, I, I used to be a powerlifter where I was trying to hit the top of my weight class and gain weight. And like, it was horrible. I was like force feeding myself every day. Like find clever ways to do it. So like I said, yeah. liquid calories is, is the dream. You can mm-hmm. drink it, do you know what I mean? Like yeah. that's you, what we did. you yeah. can make a shake up like a thousand calories. You can down it in 20 seconds. You try and eat a thousand calories of food. It takes a while and you feel sick. So yeah. that try and find liquid ways. Liquid calories, yeah, that's that's the big, dream. Help, yeah. big help, big yeah. help. Find ways to get calories in that don't make you feel sick. Basically. Yeah, I could, uh, that my like goal, um, over the last like, month has been to hit like 3.3k calories because usually if I'm just if I'm just cutting around like normally like I, I, if I don't think about what I'm eating I swear I'll hardly even get 2,000 yeah, calories yeah. in yeah. Like, and yeah. I'd, I just go back to nothing which, which like for most people will be sick right most people because I have the same thing people are like oh fuck you like you have to try and eat food like oh, oh poor you it's, you know I mean? it's ass yeah, but, like, we, but yeah, like, it's if you're trying to gain weight it fucking sucks yeah. because there is nothing like I'd rather diet than f- force feeding yourself for a long period of time like it's yeah. horrible like you get eating disorder and stuff it's yeah. not nice yeah. like, you gotta find ways do you know what I mean find ways to get calories in that don't make you feel sick yeah. Um, yeah. What's frustrating, you know, like you just you're trying to gain weight and you like you don't find yourself that hungry at all throughout the day. Yeah, like, yeah. but uh, it's just you know? human nature, right? Yeah. It's because you like so, so. When I was triple jumping, yeah, I was like dieting constantly, like I literally a proper like you know like an eating disorder. Really, I was mm-hmm. I'd literally starve myself to get light because the lighter I was, the, the further I jump. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so at that point, I would like have dreams about donuts and stuff, proper like obsessed. Really, like joking, actual mate. dreams? Not joking. I'd, yeah. yeah, I'd have a dream about Krispy Kremes frequently, mate. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, right? And then, I, and, then, and then I switched to powerlifting where I had to force feed myself and suddenly it was the other way around. I was like, oh, I don't want to even see food. Like I'd rather just not eat, do you know what I mean? So it's like, really? as soon as you know you can't have something, that's all you want, do you know what I mean? Yeah. If you know you have to eat, it's not fun anymore, do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. It, the novelty is gone. Whereas if you don't, if it's like a, if you're dieting, if, if I said to you, oh, you can never eat donuts again, within a week you're like, oh, I want them so bad, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas if you know you can eat donuts all day, every day, it's not the same, it's not fun because you, it's not a, that taboo, do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's yeah. like human nature. Like whatever you can't have, you want. You know what I mean? So as soon as you say, right, I have to eat food to gain weight, then yeah. straight away you've that you've put this Fuck. thing in place. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's, it's like become a, a bit of a chore. We, so, yeah. we, we, we actually saw you. Uh, we, we saw Through you. Uh, 
in my digest four t- how, how many how many donuts was it 12 14 donuts 12 donuts, 12 12 donuts, donuts in 14 minutes, in 14 yeah. minutes. Um, so you did a 25,000 calorie challenge. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, most YouTubers will do 25,000 calories uh, in a group of people like the Cybermen video. Yeah. They do oh, 10, 000, or 20,000 calories in between seven people. You actually, and with a lot of these videos, I'm there like, yeah, but did they actually do it? Is it pure waffle, what, et cetera, et cetera. But with you, I, I, I would be willing to put down a lot of money that it was very legit yeah. and you actually <clears throat> got through 25,000 yeah. calories. The breakfast alone, fella. As I was, I was eating my breakfast while watching you eat your 5,000 calorie <laughs> breakfast. Yeah. So I did about 400 calories. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. in this time, he's just done, done 6,000. Wrapped it all up, double cream, uh, scrambled yeah. eggs. Like what is going on here? Right, what us through that video. That was like. the worst day, like literally. Like, I remember, I think I finished it, because this is a while ago now, but I think I finished it at like 2 a.m. Like just swallowing mouthfuls of Haribo, yeah. And like, Mate, I literally thought I was gonna die. I remember just being like- Too much sugar now. You looked like, fucked, you looked yeah. finished. Like, do you know what? That, like I, I, I've literally never, like since then I've never done a proper like that. I, haven't, I don't do, even food videos, I don't really do anymore, but occasionally I'll do one, but not, I haven't up. done an eating challenge for like such long, uh, uh, one that's, you know, that's like capacity, yeah, like yeah, loads, yeah. And I don't do them because it's just shit. Like that yeah. video, it served its purpose. Like that video blew up, got me loads of subscribers, yeah. but yeah. it literally, I reckon it damaged my gag reflex for like a year. Like after that video, yeah, I'd sit down for a normal meal and I'd be like, like just all the time, just felt sick all the time. Couldn't even really? eat like normal stuff. You, yeah. Flashbacks to that moment just where it's 2 a.m. with yeah, Haribos. Just killed me, honestly. <laughs> all, like, it, I think it was like, yeah, Something to do with like fat or whatever. Like I'd just have a meal, a normal meal, and I'd be like halfway through, and I'd just be like, like couldn't eat it. Like wow. Horrible, how, mate. How, how, how how is your stomach fitting this food in? Like how many times are we going to the toilet in that well, day? Mate, you, if you look at like competitive eaters, they're all like the best ones are like skinny. Like there's like, skinny yeah, Asian actually, women. It's like, true, you know. Stand, I don't. I can't get well, my head around. How do you think work? about it? Yeah? Converse, if you're if you're really fat, yeah, there's lots. Like there's not much room for your organs. These guys yeah. are like really lean. What they'll do is they'll drink like they'll drink. You know, gallons and gallons of water and stretch their stomach, and then they've got a huge capacity to consume food. I think the biggest thing is being able, like I said, going back to that gag reflex, being able to override that. Because okay. for me, if I try and ram stuff in my mouth, I'm like, Ooh, whereas these guys can just literally just open their freaking throat and just swallow it. Do you know what I mean, yeah. that's the biggest thing, being able to shut that off and just be able to swallow whatever you no want. No wonder like, chicks can ban what, that. What do you reckon easy. the record is for most cars in the day? Uh, there's Aww. a guy, have you seen Eric the Electric? He's like a cyclist. <laughs> Eric the Electric. <laughs> the, the name is he's like totally a enough. He's skinny cyclist, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's done, I think he's done like 40,000 calories in like two days, which is like, bear in mind, obviously after that day one, you'd mad. be like written off. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, after after that challenge, I'm talking the day or two days after, like, what was that like? Because it's it's a write-off, right? Yeah, like I said, the biggest thing for me was like psychological. Like I literally, I just didn't yeah. want to see food ever again. Really? I was like, I will gladly just not eat now. I'm done, I'm food, do you know what I mean? I'm, over <laughs> I'm finished with that. Thing, yeah, move yeah. on. Yeah. Oh it's man, I could, like this, surely there's like stomach cramps, like all that, like that has to, or or, um, or were you I, actually I, I, okay I I for like, the most no, part? No, no, I was like violently sick, like. <laughs> right, right, there <laughs> yeah, it is, like, that's, right, like, that's what we were looking yeah, for, like yeah. That, that night, uh, yeah, like I was an absolute wreck. And like I said, I was like proper like, sweaty and like shivery and just felt I was like I, I'm out I'm just gonna die now. and the last thing you want to do is like turn on the vlog camera to be yeah. like yeah by the way guys yeah. the, yeah. the amount of sugar though yeah, yeah. You consumed it, yeah. is that not is that not nuts. dangerous with the amount right, it's like, definitely dangerous yeah yeah if, yeah if you got unlucky you probably yeah. could just die die like, yeah you know no, I mean? actually that yeah. but listen when you're getting seven mil views in a vid like yeah, that, yeah, that that's what I mean you gotta that, take the and that's the case with most YouTube stuff you do it and you're like fuck but then it serves its purpose right but the problem is though if you do that if you do too many of those videos then you have an audience that only wants to see that. See you know I mean? pain you're, and suffering fucked, yeah. through eating. Like, so you do it as like a one-off, like a every now and then. Well, that was no. That's, that was that was. I mean, that's you know, no, that was a long. That must be like getting on four years ago, I reckon. Yeah. So like, no. Yeah. At that it was. point, I, they, they were banging those videos. You know, everyone was doing yeah. a 10k challenge, right? Yeah, so yeah, I did yeah. like 10, 15, 20. Like, I kept going, and like then you got to 25, yeah. and you're like, yeah. Was that the last? Days. Was that the last? Yeah. Last yeah, off. Yeah. That was it. I literally was like, I'm never doing. You must have found the 10k one a piece of piss then. Do you know what? Yeah, I feel like I, I just adapted because it wasn't like really hard, but like it wasn't easy. Like I'm still yeah. like, oh, it's, I don't know. I feel like each one, they, they obviously got progressively harder, but they none of them were easy. They were all like, the 10 wasn't like the best thing. It's just, again, it's, it's that thing, yeah. It's like, yeah. you know, you have to eat it. Like 
there have been so many days in my life where I've eaten 10 calories, not even thought about it, and it's been enjoyable. As soon as you say, what? Like, but, but, but as soon as you say, <laughs> I'm going to eat it now, I have to eat yeah, it, yeah, around yeah, and I'm going to film it, straight away it changes. It's so it. true. Just getting the camera out, you're like, oh, like, do you know what I mean? What, what was the biggest cheat code? Because I remember I watched uh, one of your videos, uh, I think it was you did like swapping diets with your brother who was <laughs> going to uni yeah, 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 or something like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I watched that, and uh, it was like yours, and his like, trick was to put yeah. a little bit of olive oil. Yeah. In each one, because olive oil obviously is so, so I, I calorie dense. That. He's picked it up and he's run right. with it, and he's taken to a new level. What he would do is put it in Actimel, right. which like it actually is, is just so good. So olive olive oil is like you know that much olive oil would be like five hundred calories. It's the easiest thing. It's literally just liquid calories. It's so easy, right? Yeah. Obviously, it's revolting. So you've got to get the ratios right. You put yeah. too much in, oh, it's like proper slimy. Yeah. Put a little bit in, don't even. What's his whacked in a yogurt? So you know, there's, you know, there's little, little drinks. Actimel. You know what I mean? The little, yeah, little, yeah. little, little shot little ones. Off. Yeah, yeah. 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 You can put in a good amount. Do you know what? We were like experiment. Yeah, yeah. We were seeing how much can we get away with. Uh -huh. you don't how many calories it. could you chuck in it? So you can make that Actimel shake like 400 calories, and you that's Whoa. one mouthful, two that's seconds. That's a shot. Literally done. Easy. The easiest thing. Yeah. Not just done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, Seriously, I mean, going to I'm the not myth. advocating like because I'm sure there must <laughs> yeah, be some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can't be that good for yeah. you. But for a short-term fix. That's yeah. What, you know what I mean? That's so it? interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And is there any other like foods or anything that you think are just like a little bit like look? If you need those last 500 calories. Something that's easy though. to eat, but it's got a love, you know. It's, it's generally know. stuff that's high in fat, right? So yeah, I mean, okay. so like stuff like nuts, like nut butters, like peanut butter, yeah. and all, like find ways that's, that's convenient. So like just adding more butter to your food, do you know what I mean? Right. When you cook food, you can just put more oil and butter in. You don't even mm -hmm. notice it, but it's just sneaky little things like yeah. that, do you know what I mean? Or live in America. Yeah, there we <laughs> those, go. That's those fat dream, yeah. bastards over there, yeah? yeah. They, they cake yeah. it. Make the portions. What the portions? Yeah. You it's like there. three guys. Ridiculous, like, yeah. Well, yeah. you've seen them videos where they compare like a large McDonald's yes. UK to yeah, a large yeah, McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's literally, mental. like our large Insane. drink wouldn't even. Do you I mean, mean, they're small. It's not even that small. Large, seriously, you're like, who needs four liters of coke? I don't <laughs> yeah. understand who's mental. drinking that. Like, it's yeah, madness. the healthcare companies are licking their lips because yeah. they got to pay pay for their healthcare. And even the there, drinks so. over there taste different as well because like the sugar. It's you better. Know, it tastes the better. The sugar lot, yeah. Right? The sugar laws are different, right? I feel like yeah. I feel like they have less limited restrictions. But yeah, that's it. You want to find like low mass stuff so st what you want to avoid is stuff that's really high in protein and fiber because that fills you up do you know what I mean so like yeah a tin of, if you eat a tin of beans yeah you're like what but like that's like a couple of hundred calories it's nothing yeah. but it's so fibrous that it makes you feel really full do you know what I mean so you want to find stuff that's just hollow do you know what I mean yeah like a, if you eat like a like a big mac meal yeah you can i can just inhale that like literally done don't even notice it doesn't touch the sides right yeah it's a thousand calories if you eat a thousand calories of like Rice, Chicken and rice broccoli, or yeah. yeah. What you're going to be so full. Do you yeah. Know what I mean? so it's finding stuff. If you're trying to get calories in, find stuff that's like high in calories relative to mass. Wow. That, yeah. But, okay. but then the problem is a lot of that food is, is shit. It's it's unhealthy. Like, yeah. You're going to become, become quite you a donut from that, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. It's a Banging short like, thing. That, that belly is going to be. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's it's But at least you'll be able to bench five kilos. There we go. I mean, you look at all the best benches in the world, yeah. They look like they're about to have a heart attack. So, like, yeah. It's something you want to aspire to because there's a limit where, like, yeah, I'll get good at bench, but if I want to be like. Yeah, uh, slightly kilos. aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, you then. do that, then you just die. Like, so it's yeah. weird how much. You, like, have you seen the guy? It's called Julius Maddox, right? right? He benches. He's going for an eight hundred pound bench, I think, which is like so, like four hundred three hundred and fifty or so, three three hundred and sixty yeah. kilograms, like yeah. straight away, three hundred and sixty kilograms. That's insane. Holding it like that, I can't even comprehend that. But the guy is literally just That's the biggest man you've ever seen. Like fat, but massive, just huge. So that'll be the biggest ever bench, bench. press. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Mean, and I mean, most humans can't even, you know, even deadlifting that will be enormous. You'll be like a freak. And he's That's like yeah. five Bench me. pressing it, mate. Like it's disgusting. But yeah, he looks like he could just die. I mean, yeah. it's like- Just not, keel over. It's not sustainable. Like, like you know, like, like Eddie Hall. Yeah. Before, well, after, if he carried on doing strong, he would have died. Like he was literally, he was putting himself like in Some a, of them videos. After, he, after he did out, the right? 500 yeah. kilo Mad. deadlift, didn't he go yeah. like, he, he was like, like yeah, he just yeah, completely, yeah. his like brain just and fucked. Stuff, yeah. yeah, memory loss, yeah, you, went blind that, for a hot yeah. minute, some shit like that. It's like a, yeah. So say even this, this, yeah, this dedication, you've got to, you've got to want it so bad that yeah. you're willing to just fuck yourself up. And then Thor not, came through. He did, by the way, doing well. 501, that's taking a piss, by the way. Yeah. Yo, I um, think that's actually a disres what, disrespectful. Yeah. What's, um, I swear these like were meant to scrap. 
Yeah, did I, did I, did I miss that? Oh, that, no, that, that did not yet. happen. It hasn't happened yet. Yeah, you know, so like again, oh, yeah, no, Eddie Hall and Paul Scaffin, right? But it's, it keeps getting pushed back. Is I'm it going to happen? It's, like, it's not going to happen. But how is it even allowed? Because like... I can't wait got for that. two of the strongest men ever, yeah? And they're training specifically for boxing for like two years. Is that dangerous? Is that like, do you know what I mean? Imagine yeah. getting punched in the face by Eddie Hall. Like, yeah. your head's just going to come off. Like, do you know what But mean? Eddie Hall, I, out of the two of them, Eddie Hall looks a little bit quicker. He looks good, you know? I think... Yeah, he's got a little something. Yes, do you know what? A few months ago, I was like, he's gonna absolutely decimate because he looks so like you look at Thor like a few months ago he looked Mate. like an absolute ogre you're like yeah. he can't even move but yeah. he's getting slowly better Who so Thor? I think, yeah he's yeah. getting now he looks he doesn't he looks less shit well, yeah Eddie will still I feel like he's got more he wants it more and he's a psycho like yeah. he's just he's yeah he's a monster so I still back him but like I think it's gonna be close it's now. gonna be close it, yeah. the, I just don't even think it'll happen can you I, just imagine I think getting hit like do you know what I mean can you Make imagine sure, the is, power? Is, it, is it a genuinely a case of is is one bang and these guys are out? Yeah. Is it like the f is it first person to land a punch wins? Is that? Do you reckon, well, I mean, do you reckon it could before, be that? So this oh, is why it's so interesting. They're, they're, both, they're also huge. But, they're, but they can absorb because yeah. they're quite big. You might they got a lot of padding. Like, do you know what I mean? How much do they weigh? Do you know? Eddie Hall's like he's lighter, but he's like 160, 170 <laughs> kilograms, so it's still quite heavy. 170. 160, 70 around 60, that region. 70. Yeah. That is. But, but, but that's you know like well? three of you, Chip. But you know what as well? We can't yeah? deal with I thought numbers. it was like a fake. I thought like it was like all you know, like they would. It was a, a publicity PR. thing. Yeah, yeah, mate. They they hate each other. They really they genuinely dislike. Eddie Hall wants to kill him, mate. I'm not joking. Yeah. They literally hate each other. That's so, so that makes it so much better. I want to go and see it because it's going to be like you know they want to Should hurt have each other so well. much. They will in It'll September. Be in time, yeah. time for crowds. I'd, I'd I'd love to go and watch that fight. Yeah, it'd be. I remember watching like Eddie Hall sort of like reacted to Thor thing because yeah. Thor, what he did, he he did his in like a home gym. Yeah. And Eddie did his at like a competition or like something I more. I think formal. I've watched these vids. I went and through like a little yeah. three hour stint on YouTube yeah, and watching yeah. them all. And yeah. I, I was just watching the video on there, like, yeah, these Donny, they, yeah. there's just so much Honestly, like salt mate. and like backhanded you know, things. He's yeah. been training. Like, by, the time, by the time the fight comes around, Eddie Hall would have been training full time for two years pretty much for that yeah. one fight. Imagine putting that much into like. Into, yeah. like, do you know what I mean? I think like. And they put all your eggs in one basket. Like, that's, I don't know, it's a lot. This like, is big. If he wins, it's the best thing ever. But if, I don't know, yeah. I think it's a. It's a, it's a brave it? strategy. Yeah. It's a, but, but he, like you said, he had stopped doing like the strongman stuff. But that's what he's like, isn't it? Lot, but that's what a lot of athletes are like. They need that. They they need to get obsessed by something, and then yeah. that's it. Then nothing else matters. Like so, now he's literally yeah. like he'll train for you know four or five hours, then he'll do re like his whole day, twenty four hours a day, is just he's just getting ready for that one fight. That's amazing. Over the course of two years, like, and I imagine they're getting a, a decent bag for this. Mate, they're two, getting like a know, meal. I think they're getting. I think it's like a not bad at all. They're getting Chump change two, two world, to Paul, yeah, com right. yeah, but you know, still. I forget now. He said I can't remember. He said it in a video. They signed a contract. It was it's a lot. Money. It's yeah, over seven figures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And no, Eddie Hall does isn't his YouTube channel pretty? Yeah, he's pretty quite popular, like a right? decent. Yeah, yeah, no, his YouTube channel is good. He I blew up a like things. a year ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. you think you look at him? That's the dream. If you're, do you know what I mean, making content like how many videos can you? If yeah. you're that strong, like now he's boxing, not saying, but before when he was just lifting weights, like. He can go to it, same as Larry Wills. You know Larry Wills? Yeah. Going to a gym, just do a lift. It's like the strongest ever. No, it's the yeah. biggest, the biggest, the biggest lift in the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, world's biggest bench press. World's biggest like. You've trained with the Larry Wills. Yeah, bloke. yeah. I take He's an absolute freak, No, no, no. Man. We need to have a conversation, okay? Because I... I don't know this now. Don't drop, you got, give me and now I, I I will never do incline bench ever oh, again. I know you're gonna say, yeah, so right, Larry, yeah. to, to, to is people this the that Donny from the video. Yeah, yeah. So people that uh, are listening and don't know, Larry Reels was spotting his friend, I think, and he was doing like a uh, barbell like incline, incline barbell press. press. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And he goes through it. It's obvious, I mean, these guys are absolutely mega, by the way. Yeah. And they are doing weights that you know I, I I'll never. Yeah. Anyways, mega weights, and he goes to he goes to push up, and as he pushes up this thing, worst, the pec. Man muscle detaches from his yeah. body like i'm talking you, like you literally rips. see the whole peg just like, it, like he's got nothing he's got a gap here and he's just got a, like his, his pecs here yeah it like is the worst thing I've ever how, like, this is super rare right uh, this don't happen. oh i don't know if it's uh, super so, rare so but if you've got so the guy's called ryan crowley yeah he's, he's a nice guy like but it, like i think it was in hindsight it probably wasn't a bet wasn't the best move because he's not a power lifter he's a bodybuilder okay and he was this is what always happened with larry like he's the strongest guy so like people training them they, they want to try and lift massive weights he was sure. like right fuck it, i'm gonna do a massive he was doing like a 220 kilogram incline barbell press <laughs> That's like, I mean, not the best idea but like yeah he literally i think he comes down and then 
or, oh, you make, you just see it's it. It's sickening, like, mate. Literally, you, you, it's like, you can't believe it's real. It's whole you, pit. Just, fuck. Just, yeah, yeah, search, search for it. I was like, going to say, if you guys are trying to... What's the recovery going to be like for that? Oh, it's done. It's a wrap, bro. It's like a long time. It'll be a year minimum, yeah. No, but even then, it might never be the same. So he had a surgeon in Dubai fix it and literally had to pretty much rebuild his pet because it's gone. Where your pec attaches here, which is disintegrated, so it's, it's not doesn't exist anymore. So they had to reset it and like re you know define his pec. Um, I think if that had happened like twenty years ago, you, you're you're fucked. Now I feel like you could, the, the surgery's pretty Technology. decent now, but Do still, you still though, I don't know. I think that's a, like a think, life changer. He's gonna have a year where he can't use that. So he's gonna yeah. have so much muscle wastage. Like I the, think he's the wonkiness like, of my man's eyes. It's, not ideal. it's not gonna ideal. be nuts. But yeah, that's like. So Mike said, because that's the gym he goes to a lot. He said yeah. no one's used that ink like since then. Really, everyone's like, well, I'm not gonna go knit like yeah. yeah. Because, well, yeah, I see like Larry worst. Wills. Even me, I was, I, since for the first few weeks, benching after that, I just felt, I didn't feel, I was like, whoa, I don't oh, I'm glad I ain't seen this video. Yeah, it's one of those. You know, you see them, you know, you see like, those, you see, I saw a girl on a leg press, you know, where like her legs I, go, that, yeah. Uh, you, you, oh, it makes it locks you, it out. Yeah, you're then, like, I don't want to use a machine. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know, watching that. Same as, I, used to, I watched a couple of like, triple jumping. You watch a couple of like triple jump like fails, fails. where someone has like snaps their leg. Ah. You're like, I didn't need that because now no. I can never commit to it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You just don't, you just don't want to see him because you know it's just going to mess you up psychologically. It's like what happens in football and you know, yeah. you watch all the yeah. Yeah. How long tackle. it takes to get, yeah. That's the biggest thing, isn't it? You think you get the, they get players get fit again, but how long does it take to get over that in your head? I don't think they do. Most hit you, don't. Most like don't. Shaw yeah. has only just finally <clears throat> hit his potential. Oh, what from his leg break? Yeah, because remember, yeah, he, remember yeah. that was like ages ago as well. Yeah. It takes so it's long a few for proper. You know, when you see it like, lot hanging time, off, like yeah. Ramsey, Aaron Ramsey had a bad one. Then he yeah. was literally just hanging off. Just, oh, oh, that was literally oh, um, his skin. This whole oh, the UFC Donny recently. First, 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 like throw the first. It was it was against the kick, and it just like yeah, fuck. Leg he, just like he checked it and he went to step back it. on his leg and it just like he was there like there's no leg to stand on yeah. and it just <sighs> went 90 degrees I, don't know, it may, I hate it but queasy it, 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 it makes you aware of how like vulnerable you do you know what I mean yeah. you are literally just a bit of like flesh and but like you can just literally do you know what I mean yeah you can be broken so, so you, you could have done that kick a thousand times before but it's a thousand yeah. and one time yeah. where yeah. it, it yeah, breaks yeah yeah, man. No, that's uh, that's crazy. You, here, here, here's an idea on, on the topic of UFC. Um, does anyone else want to or, or are keen to see? And I could do this for a potential Olympics as well, but just roided up Olympics and what UFC. You like you just accept two absolute meatheads that are just clearly juiced to the gills okay. and they just scrap it out. No, no, I'd or, like to see that. Or, or get though, get two like labs that are just like the, you know, the, the, the top tier drugs, yeah, and then find like the two best, you know, potential athletes, and then okay. get them in and put them on a proper like designated like plan of just the the top tier roids, like yeah. the, yes. the best of the best, the optimal ride plan, and see what yeah. you can do. You know, like like, you're like, a, like Captain America, you know, when they put him in that machine, yeah, like, in real life, like, yes. Just do that. I'm really surprised so that true. like this has never been tried and you know done. It's, it's, it's a great it's idea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 no, but it's like no, I know what you mean. You no. could pull it off without it, mate. A lot of like a lot of. A lot of professional sport, a lot of it, like especially athletes. They already got them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everyone's absolutely already juiced so anyway. It's absolutely riddled Any, with any, it anyone, like anyone watch the movie Icarus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this, uh, the yeah. thing, I mean, yeah. that. have you ever watched it? Is that it's one of the best documentaries of all time. It, it's is like it mad. about it's cyclists? Like government yeah. funded, okay, like, I've heard about it, yeah. but I haven't watched it. One yeah. of the best documentaries of all time, essentially this guy called Brian Fogel, he goes and he um, sets off. He wanted to see how steroids, because sort of like what you just mentioned, he, yeah. he set off. Uh, I think he was trying to copy Lance Armstrong's Yes. Like, protocol then yeah it? and and, 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 and it, yeah and, it, and he's um he's doing like this cycling thing and he's just trying to time see how much better he can get at cycling by banging these roids and he does it for a bit and he sees a bit of improvement but nothing quite yet and then it just takes the yeah. biggest left turn of yeah. all time and he ends up getting into this spider web of how russia were just absolutely cheating their way through the olympics it's like um, government sponsored the, the government literally the, forcing their athletes onto these like onto programs drugs. to do yeah how did, all, how, they're paying how, for all of it and then this the, the the main guy that's in charge of it the russian guy like flees yes. the country and he's like hiding his guys he's mates house. with this brian vogel yeah. guy and he's out there he's like, and now they're, he's they're in witness protection me, yeah, proper, the guy's now witness what the, the guy from the, the main guy because he outed yeah. the whole he's thing like this and russian scientist and he like he's because he's helping this guy with his he's like yeah i hope you like you know with your last hundred protocol and then it comes out that he's fun, that, you know the head of this like whole organization doing this drug thing, 
and he leaves the country wow. and he comes over and he's so, being like so it start, started out as a small documentary he's just trying to see what yeah, steroids yeah, yeah. will do yeah. inside like he's the biggest expose wow. like ever yeah that sounds yeah. like a belt though and is that yeah. like on Netflix yeah yeah, yeah. mate it's, it's one of the best documentaries I've ever watched yeah, I highly recommend anyone to go watch it he actually just came out with another documentary called Dissident but that's another one for you need, you need to watch that we'll go over that one that one's all about the Saudi Arabia have you watched that one Dissident I'd recommend that as well I watched it um, but yeah no the Icarus stuff um, I, I, I might bang roids I think I'll do roids give it a go bro let's see what I, 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 I want to be the guinea pig I I I'll be you the wanna, YouTube I think you want like that's the biggest I know I know you're doing tongue in cheek here but like generally speaking I think people now yeah you like you get kids that are like 17 that will start taking drugs you know what I mean and, or, or yeah. someone's been training for like 6 months you're like at least give it a chance. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, let's see where you're first. Yeah, well, like, surely, like, it, it, doesn't it make sense to naturally take yourself realistically yeah. to the like well, where at least, you at least get close? To. At least yeah. give it a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Get to the point where you're like, oh yeah, do you know what? I'm definitely massive. So at least, yeah, at least you're yeah. giving it a bit of a chance. And Otherwise, then, and then, and then, Roy sort of like unlocks this yeah. new level. Well, you, um, you get got you know kids that aren't even eating enough food. You're like, well, you're not even eating enough food. What's the point in? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So like, is it go and take like protein, but they're eating like 100 calories a day. Like, you get that right first, then. Is it, is if, if you've been training for a long time, yeah, and fair enough, you want to give it a go to fill your boots, but like at least give it a chance first. Because it, it wouldn't work. Like if me and Chip just bang roids, yeah, yeah we'll just get saggy breasts. Is that like, like one of the main side effects? <laughs> nah, well, I no, you, you, get, like, you would get bigger. Like, do you, you reckon? So you, you even if I wasn't properly... It just fucks your hormones. So it just gives you the capacity just to, to do so much more. So you could just train. So like just recovery is ridiculous. Like you could yeah. just do so much more. Do you know what I mean? But then yeah. the problem is, yeah, this is the biggest thing for me is like if you started doing it, where do you go from there? Yeah, because like at some point you're gonna stop, then you're gonna get weak and, and small, and it's gonna be depressing yeah. and shit. Do you know what I mean? So like, and it does you're, look you're shit as backing well. Backing yourself into a corner. Do you know what I mean like that? You where do you go from there? And, yeah. and also like, you could just die. Like you could just have a yeah. react. You could just be unlucky and just take something That'd weird or just so inconvenient. Yeah, very very, <laughs> very, <laughs> very <laughs> inconvenient, and also not great for the yeah. podcast either. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Uh, but you know, I think yeah, it's, you know what? I don't. Mind, the thing is, uh, I, I was saying to Joe, and I, I would never do it just because I don't think I'm. Act, uh, I don't actually care enough about. But it'll be a sick series. Series. But it would. This is what so I'm what saying. I think as well. this, uh, someone needs to do it, right? Man, there's a lot of guys. A lot of the fitness like. Well, the so, fitness community is riddled with it, but w no, no, I, there I've got a rant about that. A few guys that do it openly and like document. And I rate that. The problem is though. You, YouTube won't let you, so you have to do it in a fun. You have to do it in a clever way, a bit of a. Oh, covert, they won't let you be like. Way. You can't openly say oh, this is my drugs because you'll get the video will be like oh. flagged. So you've got to do it in a bit of a, you know, like a. I, I took it, my vitamins like a, today. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like that. That, yeah, 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 there yeah, are yeah. a few channels that do it that openly document their their drug taking. That's it is because if you're doing that, you need to know that's a skill, right? Understanding how that works. Like there are coaches that that, that specialize in you know drugs. coaching athletes that are on drugs because that is a. Yeah. How do you even know what, where to start? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and and this is what I've always said. I've said like I have absolutely no problem with anybody. If you want to do roids, mate, more power to you. But what I think, I, what I think you need to do, and, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think you just be need open. to disclose it. Yeah. If you disclose it, I could get. And in fact, I'll be more invested because I'll be there. I want to see I this not monster. Even, that you not come even, to. ideally, even not even. It's not even that. It's like don't be, don't be deliberately misleading. So there are people, or don't say you're natural. I guess they, yeah. they repeat. Yeah, exactly that. Or don't try and profit on it. There, yeah. there are people that say, oh yeah, this is my training program like yeah. i'm natural is my program you can buy it if you want like but yeah. they're taking drugs that's deliberately misleading because you're the insinuation is that doing my plan will make you look like me but actually i'm taking drugs so yeah you know i mean so it's misleading yeah ironically yeah in reality it doesn't matter because i don't take drugs right but i've got pretty decent genetics yeah, yeah. so you could do my plan and you won't look like me so yeah. like in a way that's also misleading but that's just up to you right Mate, but, that's genetics but yeah. the drug thing is like because you are deliberately going you're going and taking those drugs and then you're not disclosing it whilst trying to capitalize so yeah i mean if, if you're just the average person you take them you know you don't have to go and tell everyone but like you said, you, you shouldn't say I'm not taking them because that is misleading and it's like just. Well, I, I think even even if it's to the point where you're selling your workout and being like, oh, you want yeah. an upper chest like this? Yeah. Do this. Is there like, yeah, okay, your exercise might help yeah. develop your upper chest, but you certainly are going to be looking that, like that's that. That's the yeah. thing as well is that like people are, are stupid. So they will follow like a massive bodybuilder who is taking a shit ton of drugs mm -hmm. and they see this guy doing like either in the gym for six hours doing 400 chest exercises you can't do that because you're not yeah they can do it because they're taking so many drugs their their resilience and their recovery is ridiculous if you do yeah. that you're just going to disintegrate you can't do it so yeah if you're training you know yeah most most in fact all top level bodybuilders they're all on drugs right so yeah. they can they can handle that training volume because of because of that you can't do that so don't copy what they're doing because it's not going to work for you it's you know not mean? possible yeah. yeah it's so interesting i have this one donny on tiktok right yeah and he uh, he pops up on my page but i can't stop watching him. he does like they're natty or not 
right? And the reasons for people being like natural or not are just so funny. He just like, they come up with like the weirdest thing. It's like, yeah, I saw this guy um, and he was on a night out, but he wasn't actually drinking any alcohol. And uh, th that leads me to believe that he's definitely on a cycle right now. It's like, what if the guy just yeah. doesn't drink alcohol? Yeah, no, it's there true. Is a, that's a whole like YouTube like, it, like niche. It's so and, like, weird. Palmy's like, fair enough. Like, you know, I can understand it does well, so I do it. But like, yeah. what, what I take issue with is when people do it in like a shitty, lazy, like you've said there, like if you're gonna present legit arguments, and, yeah. you, and you say, yeah, yeah, you know, like, I don't know, but I, I reckon this guy is for these reasons and it's, and it's legit, yeah. fair enough. It's different saying, either saying, I know this guy's on because yeah. that's, you don't know that. And also, like you said, presenting shit arguments, like essentially most of it comes down to, he's, he's quite big, he looks pretty good, he's big, he's yeah. on drugs, that's it. Like, what, how, you can't, How's do you know what I mean? Yeah. If you see like a, like an attractive person, you wouldn't assume they've had like cosmetic surgery, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Someone with like a, a massive dick, you wouldn't assume they've had like a penis enlargement. You know, <laughs> right, come to your mind, right. do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, like, yeah. why is it that someone's big, they must be on, do you know what I mean? No, it's true, it's do true. You, do you remember it's just a lazy, the, the yeah. whole tea food debate? You familiar oh, with T-Food? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Made a pretty sick transformation. It was like, yeah, but it looked sick and he had like- 10, So many people He had like 10, 10 20 it. fitness YouTubers, maybe American ones, yeah. all making videos on is T-Food. Yeah, because what happens not? is one of them will do it and then yeah. all the rest of the little little yeah. weasels that just goes around <laughs> the little cycle yeah, to make yeah, it yeah. the same. Yeah. It's just an easy win, isn't it? Like And easy views, yeah, easy and you evidence. had so many like being like, yeah, he's definitely on it. And then you had other ones coming out being like, no, here's the reason he's not. It's so I, I genuinely think being accused of doing steroids and not have been doing them it might be one of the most yeah. irritating things of all time. Yeah, yeah. You've no, had it, literally you've like, had it. My, yeah. It's eased off now because my content isn't like completely- As fitness. So if I do like a, so if I do a video where I do like a bench press PB, then it will come back. Or I do a big Instagram post where I look shredded, right? Like yeah. right now I'm not mega lean. So like I'm not doing that many like topless shots. But if yeah. you do a shot where you look sick, everyone's like, oh, he's on, you're on drugs. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. So it kind of comes in in like cycles. To be honest, like, I don't like, I don't, don't really care. Like I'm- Not anymore. No, like, so like, two things I think, right? Firstly, the first thing I think is that the majority of accusations here yeah, are being leveled by people who are either morons, like extremely low IQ, yeah. like, so they're not really <laughs> yeah. in, in, coming from an informed position, yeah? yeah? Or they're like 12 year old kids in mm -hmm. their like mum's basement, they never trained before, they're just, you know, following a trend. Right. So like, but, but also like, if, if you're, if you if you are motivated to go on someone's watch like seek out someone's video yeah and then write an and like an overtly negative comment like that's quite we got weird do you know what I mean it's quite a yeah. weird thing to do like you're a nub. I kind of feel sorry for that person like they might do you know what I mean imagine imagine your life like being in a position whereby you you feel the urge to go and write something negative about someone on yeah. it in a comment like you probably have not a only shit that life. but I think I think it's more of a mirror than anything it's yeah, like yeah. ultimately this yeah. person is projecting their insecurities yeah. and the fact that they yeah. maybe either weren't as dedicated or whatever it was yeah. back onto yeah, themselves yeah. so, so yeah. I just I mean to be honest, a lot of times I feel I, I feel so I picture that person having probably they probably have a shit life so I kind of feel sorry for them you know yeah like, I, you can't you can't win do you know what I mean like yeah like I could do, like I've done drugs. I could do a drug test every day, like for my entire life. People will still say, "Oh, you did this, or you yeah. done that." Like, end of the day, you can't win. Do you know what I mean I don't like? I don't really. It was care, like the like, the Russian scandal, the way they did it. They would pass through the the, the urine so uh, through a, a gap in the wall, and it would go through. That that's the other big thing now. Is that's, especially that's at, that, at that level, like the elite, like I said, athletics. Yeah. That level, the 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 people that are making the drugs are ahead of the testers. So oh. every time they bring out a new, they always test, will be. They'll have a new way of getting around it, a masking thing yeah. or timing or whatever it is. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. they have like the thing where it's like random tests. So when so when when you're an athlete, you have to say in the next in the UK you have to say right in the next twelve months you have to give I think it's like three locations and three times, which is you have to say oh, in nine months I'm going to be in this place at this time, which is like ridiculous. But if they turn up, they can turn up at that time. And if you're not there, if you're not there on the third occasion, that goes down as a failed test. So like it looks like you've been taking you've drugs, been even though you've just not been there. But basically, yeah. you could you could easily manipulate it and do you know what I mean avoid yeah. being detected. But but like that's, 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 that's another big problem is that even if you pass a drug test, like so in the in powerlifting in the main federation, the IPF, there are guys that probably are on drugs that are competing in a drug free federation because they've managed to get around it. Get, yeah, but, like, but it's always going to be like that. Yeah, like, yeah, it's uh, competition, right? Do you know what I mean? Like, what, don't just get over it. Do you know what I mean? Like, just people that obsess over. I understand. Again, it's a, it, that, that that content that like bangs, right? So I can understand yeah. why you do it, and also. People are, I feel like people get on board with negative stuff more. Oh, I mean, of course. You it's get a proper drama. Hard, those guys have a proper the... hardcore following of like weird little people that <laughs> love it and like jump on board. And so they're yeah. almost stuck because 
if one of those guys came out and said, oh, I think Matt's natural, they'd get hammered. So they, ha they have to do that because right. their people, their audience wants to hear that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They don't want to hear They don't want to hear that he's natural. Yeah. That, do you know what I mean? So they're kind that's of, no fun. They're kind of stuck. So you understand yeah. it, but still it's like, it is, it is a yeah. bit annoying, but yeah, it's No, it is it's interesting. Fun. So, right, Chip, you're going to be the guinea pig for our uh, little steroid, <laughs> 15 steroid experiment. Yeah, steroid yeah. Fuck it. 10,000 calories a day. Whack it, Emil, let's have it. Tren up the nostrils. Yeah. Every day. Psalms or whatever it is. See that one on TikTok. Yeah, those are the, that's the LA boy yeah uh, i keep seeing sorry. this like one tiktok and it, every now and then it'll come up and it's like um it's like if you're seeing this is this a sign for one cycle yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're like promote they're like this is if you've ever been thinking about doing roids this is your sign yeah do it <laughs> and i'm there like no 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 what am i ne next video next video what is this yeah that uh, was a big psalms was a big thing like uh, maybe like a couple of years ago it came out because it was yeah. like a Kind of a low key, like do you know I mean? Like, I'm too scared really? to do roids. So I'll just do a bit of a middle really? ground. Wait, what? What, 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 is, what is it? Not a, is it not it's considered like a steroid? Or it is, but I think oh, I don't know enough. It's like a, it's like a low key version. It's like a okay. safer, low key version that it's. What does it even stand for? Like androgen. So it's, it's similar. It's fucked with your hormones, but I, I believe it's like a less dramatic Got you. form of that. You Got know? You. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. The, 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 that's the name you needed there, Chip. The Psalms one. Don't yeah, I think you can get it off Amazon. If, <laughs> Amazon, if yeah. you want. Amazon, if you want. Well, Anyways, um, so we always have one part towards the end of the podcast, which is relationship advice from our fans. So our fans send in from relationship. Fans, okay, sit, right. um, they send in relationship advice, and we do our best. And we always give them the best advice. The, we fucked the, up so many relationships. Yeah, there's there's a lot of people now that are just okay. in in the mud. But ultimately, Plus this is all. Um, this is all anonymous. So everyone that sends in stuff, this stuff is yeah, anonymous. But uh, show me their names please when you read them out. No, well, you have to come up with a uh, an anonymous name for them. Okay. So okay. here we go. All right. Um, you got it? Here we go. Yes. All right. So uh, this is a fella. This is a bloke. And what would you, what's his name? Uh, Gareth. Gareth. All right, Gareth. Name that. Yeah, Ga very Gareth. Gaz. He, he's the one sat at the bar by himself, yep. 10 pipes deep. It's only 11 a.m. Yeah, Stella. St ooh, ooh, yeah, his missus is having a rough time. All right, here we go. All right, uh, relationship advice wanted. Hi, fellas. Me and my ex broke up at the start of the first lockdown due to being unable to see each other. That's a long time ago, just quickly, wasn't it? The start of the first lockdown. We're talking like a year ago, right? Yeah, yeah that was, that was but... Like, so this guy's straight away is dwelling on it like... They were, yeah, here, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah. Uh, due to being unable to see each other and both uh, having our individual responsibilities, we've spoken a couple of times in the last year and have discussed meeting up for a drink or something, but nothing has actually happened just wondering if i should try and reignite the relationship or call it a day because it's been so long i'm only 21 but i don't think i'm interested in anyone other than my ex love the podcast oh. okay so straight away yeah the fact they've broken up that's not a good indication do you know what I mean like, right so what do you say like because they had other responsibilities well like, well no it's because it was locked down they couldn't see each other much and they just sort of sacked it off how old are the 21 21 i mean not a child. Why could they not? Could they not? I don't know. Like, just weren't living. It's, it's, it was locked down, Matt. That's why they yeah, were. They like, were confined to their own homes. Adults, mate. Why are they not living together though? Straight at twenty one, a lot of people don't move out till till later in life. I was living with my mum at twenty. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where, were yeah, yeah, 20, like, where were you at twenty? Where were you at twenty one, Chip? In London. Yeah, come on oh, now, well, baby. Yeah, but if you had a long, like, a di I don't know how long term the relationship was, but like, you would be staying at each other's house, right? Like, yeah, yeah, probably. So then, yeah. So then would you if, straight away? If you were serious, you'd be like, right, we're gonna stay at one of our houses for this. Yes, I mean, that's so true. So straight away they've been like, oh, do you know what? Let's just not see each other for a year. That's fine. Yeah, like, fuck that off. That doesn't bode well. Mm, you know what I mean? Yeah, because I, personally, I f I think these are they don't actually like each other. They they miss the idea of each other. How about that? Yeah. I think he just misses her. Yeah. And I don't know if she's super. No, I think you're right. I think he likes the idea it. of yeah. having a girlfriend. Yeah. And just that, rather than that person specifically. I think if yeah. they if they were. If they were a good couple, they would have. They, yeah. They if she have. was as interested as he is, he's obviously sent in a DM, so he's obviously yeah. pretty interested. In her. If she had that same energy back, yeah. he probably wouldn't have it's to. It's not DMs. like he was like kidnapped and forced to not see her for a year. Like they both chose just to not see yeah. each other. Like, and there's been times so where like lockdown that. has like opened yeah. up a bit, yeah. hasn't it? So yeah, I'm, the option I'm not was there. Uh, I think it's yeah, a week. Yeah, that's a bin. A yeah, bin it off, I reckon. Away. All right, here we go. Next up, this is a Felita. Her name is. I thought you said her name was Felita. Um, <laughs> her name is probably Stacy, I'd imagine. Stacy, we do Stacey's love a Stacy. Stacy's like a, a, po a popular one. Stacy's a, a good one. All right. Um, she said, uh, "My boyfriend likes to be treated like a child." <laughs> <laughs> 
He yeah, went, alarm bells are ringing straight yeah, away. We're he, talking like what, wearing like nappies and stuff? What are we he, talking He here? says he wants everything doing for him 24 seven. Uh, when he does do something for me, he thinks I owe him the world. I'm not your mother, so stop treating me like one. Oh, thoughts on that? What? So, so straight away, yeah, that's not going to change. Like he may temporarily make a token gesture, but that's that's inherently what he's like. So, don't spoil as a kid. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He's not going to change to the point. So she's got to decide: is she is that all right? Because you know, there's going to be some shit elements of relationship. That, I mean, that sounds yeah. quite a lot, but you've got to decide: are you willing to take the hit? Because if not, sack him off. Because otherwise, you're going to resent him forever doing stuff. Do you know what I mean? You've got yeah. to either and buy into it, take the hit, do it, or accept, or, or say no, I don't want to do it, and sack it off. But he's not going to change. I enough. was really hoping that she was going to say like, uh, makes me treat him like a child. He's like dressed up in like nappies <laughs> yeah, and all sorts of baby boys and all that shit. Oh, yeah. no. Breastfeed him. Exactly. All right, we yeah. got a fella here. What do you want to call him, Chip? Um. Oh. Uh, Come on, lad. Quick. Um. Jedward. Jedward. Jedward said, uh, basically me and this girl have been speaking for six months-ish. We both start, we both stated that we think there is a connection over text, but we'd have to go out in person before we made judgments about how we feel about each other. Okay, it's a bit weird here. Uh, we went out for the first time this weekend and we've spoke since, but I want to know if she's into me. Should I ask her again? You know what? We're not even helping you out. You <laughs> fucking, that was horrendous. All right, here we go. Look, this is, this is wow. we've got Jedward Jr. here. All right, fellas, um, I have a bit of a problem. My ex and I broke up at the end of September and it was a bad one. She broke up with me because uh, she Shot said, the leg. because she, she said that I was mistreating her. And when we did break up um, at first, there were a lot of harsh words being said back and forth. Mm -hmm. um, in the following weeks throughout October, we tried being friends and it just didn't work. We haven't spoken to each other since November. Recently, I've been missing her and want to try and at least be friends with her, especially after all this time. Maybe we could try dating again. I'm confident in myself that I can do better. Um, also, she was a fucking dime. How do I approach this? Wait, Dan means like she's a 10, 10 out of 10. 10. Yeah. So why is he saying he's, he's confident saying, she Do better is in like, find a better No, 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 no. He, he himself, he's self-reflecting uh, here. He's like, oh, I could have been a better. I was going to say, okay. yeah. 100% I could do better than this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. but she was a 10. So, <laughs> yeah, well, someone wasn't that was the ultimate confidence. <laughs> uh, what were we saying about this bloke? Um... So he's been a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, he's saying. been a rubbish boyfriend. She sets him off. They said a few bad things. They ain't spoken in ages, and he's thinking, "Oh, I feel like I could have done better." He's got like through actions, really, instead of just why well, he's got to show that he can be better. You show that he's proved or changed or whatever. Can't just be like, "Oh, look, I've changed." I think I, th I think it's a wrap for him. Maybe it is a wrap, but if he's de rap. desperate to try, then you got to show it, right? It's true. Yeah, I mean, like, if it depends, like, like he said, if he if he likes that person. He doesn't want to absolutely mug her off. So mm -hmm. if he's if he's genuinely thinks he's not going to be a dick, then like maybe. But like yeah, if he's not convinced, and if he if he actually likes someone, you wouldn't want to be a dick to them. Do you know what I mean? So he'd have to be adamant that he's not going to be a dick. Yeah, no, I just I'll always have doubts. If someone but, is a dick, they're probably going to be a dick at some point again. So I mean? my my thing is right. I reckon he's there like oh I'll do better. I'll do better. Six months into the relationship, yeah, it's gonna to yeah, it's yeah. gonna come back out yeah. of him. Yeah, so mate, to be honest, I think you should spare her the pain. You should uh, go traveling around Bali for a year, sort yourself out, yeah. and come back. Uh, all right, here we go. We have a another one here. This one is from a guy called. It's a lot of pressure, Francis. isn't it? You know? Francis. Yeah. Francis sounds like he lives in West London. All right. Character. Um, here we go. Hey, fellas. Uh, last Sunday, I was uh, at my friend's house and celebrating her 18th birthday under COVID safe conditions, of course. Yeah, a lot of bollocks. Bollocks, bollocks yeah. Absolute um, bollocks. There, I met a, a girl and she was absolutely stunning. I've sent her a DM and I have her uh, Snapchat. How do I start moving forward? I'm pretty new in this situation um, where I actually really like a girl. Please let me know. What's the move? Has so, she, re she replied to this? Well, that's, that's what I that's said. Him, I, I mean, he's already like, if she her. hasn't replied, then it, I, I'm afraid you're done. Stop. Yeah, yeah you said you sent her a DM. <laughs> if you sent her a DM and she hasn't responded. Wait, wait, wait. wait. He, said, he said he sent her a DM and now, oh, look. And now, I sent her a DM and I now uh, have a snap. So he sent oh, her a DM. Oh, maybe she's replied with the Snapchat. she's given the Snapchat okay. to him. All right, give him a pickup okay. line. He needs a pickup line. That's what he needs to do. He, First of all, mate, you need to come with some interesting chat. Oh, I really don't know. You got to pick um, a line. It's not like a specific line. I think you got a dad like, joke. Now that you're dad, you got to have a little dad joke up the lock. Uh, yeah, in the locker. I can't 
just put them out the bag. I need time to think about it. Come back to me. Yep. Go on, Chip. What would you say? I know you come from the um, podcast. Oh, I normally like nick some bullshit from Tinder, like, you know, the Nintendo. So you send a first part of the Nintendo logo, yeah. then a picture of them for 10 and then uh, final bit. Sorry, on Tinder. It's very that's smart. Yeah, that's that is a good one. That is a good one. Yeah, a good one. Um, yeah you could potentially send that. Um, chances are she won't reply, but, you know. Yeah, the, um, no, fuck it. Just the thought, the thought is it. there, ultimately. Um, all right, here we go. We've got one last one. This one is uh, from another bloke, and his name is... We had Francis. Um, I think his name's probably Paul, I think. Paul. Yeah. Um, it's spelled P-O-L. 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 Jesus Paul. Christ, it's like some Spanish Paul. runway model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Paul, he <laughs> said... Uh, actually, he says, uh, what's up, fellas? He's from Australia. Oh, that's Paul. Close, uh, <laughs> I need some advice, though. Um... There's a girl, she's my age, but she graduated last year and I graduated this year. Um, we're friends, we chat and whatnot, and have been in contact at least once a day for over a year. Fucking hell, man, that's an effort. Um, we got it. That, uh, that sounds normal, except she's had a boyfriend the whole time. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, I do fancy her quite a bit, but obviously I'm not here to crash uh, her and her boyfriend's relationship. I mean, it sounds like you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're messaging a bird every like single day. Exactly He's messaged her for 365 yeah. days, he said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah. And, and he said, uh, the funny bit was after that, he put, sounds normal. Like, <laughs> <laughs> even, like even, even that's, there's no way that's normal in any way. <laughs> Putting in a shift for a year. All right, here we go. Uh, what I don't understand is why she never just dropped the conversations and has kept it going just as much as I have the whole time. Cheers, boys. Keep up the good work and drop a hoodie already. So, what do you think? I feel like. like you re- you, do you reckon she's she's there with the boyfriend? They could. I'm trying to catch a little bit of. I, Paul. I feel like. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like, wi- like women are more inclined to just see that as like a as a friend. Be like I, I every day though. Are, I feel like. Yeah, but there's, I feel like it's more likely that uh, very very rare. I mean, uh, let's say. Never a guy's messaging a girl consistently on the, being like, oh, let's just be mate. That's not a thing. No, is it? that's not yeah. happening. Right? Well, clearly because he's he yeah. fancies yeah. the shit out. Whereas of Whereas I feel like girls maybe not, but sometimes would just be like, oh, they're they're mates. So and maybe she just sees him as a mate, and she's like, what you want? What are you doing? Like, whereas he's just like, oh, like how can he yeah. find out aggressively? To, how can he find yeah. out? It's just, I mean, it's might as well ask. Like, he's been going for a year. Like, what's yeah. he doing? Like, wasting his life? Just message her and like, ask her. Do you know what I mean? Say like, yeah. Would you be down to sack off your boyfriend and yeah. come and jump on this yeah, roller yeah. coaster? Like, might realistically, well. because what? You, yeah, what do you lose? Like. It's not going to go anywhere. So it, 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 otherwise, it's, if, if she's if she's into her actual boyfriend, then that's a waste of time. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. And if she's not, then you find out. Boom. Not only that, but if you just keep playing this long game, and then maybe it does fizzle out, it'll always be in the back of your mind. What if? Yeah. And what you've if literally this? wasted loads of time. Yeah. Being a creep like messaging someone every single day, every single day yeah. when you actually fancy them. Yeah. Right then. There you go, Paul. Um, Paul. Paul, whatever Paul? your fucking name is. Um, yeah, just drop her a message. Uh, tell her that you think you fancy her and then just fucking pray, to be on her side, because let me tell you, if she says no, then- It would be like it would be, it's gonna be red fucking weird. No a year yeah, yeah, of no, 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 your back. life in a uh, bit, mate. Sorry, uh, I've, got, uh, I've got a boyfriend uh, not interested. Oh, and then, yeah. mate, what you want to do then is you just put your phone down and you Google, where do I find SARMs? And you get yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. on it, my friend. And you go back two years later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, what are you saying now, mate? <laughs> what are you saying now, babes? <laughs> oh, I'm actually single. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that before. Me, Angela. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I got a bit heated. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up this episode. Thank you very much, Matt. You have been a fantastic <laughs> guest. And um, yeah, me and Chip, we'll see you guys on the other side. Yep, see you next week. And Same Chip. Same day. Day. <laughs> different day. Same Don't day. forget to subscribe to the channel. Check out Matt's channel as well, of course. Um, check out the app too. Um, it is very sick. I can vouch for it. I did have a little play around with it before. Um, yes, so yeah, go ahead, check that out. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube, uh, on Spotify. We are. Oh wait, wait, wait. Just, sorry. Just before we sign off here, we got to talk about these fucking star sign bastards. Ah, oh, right. Okay. okay. So sorry. We, we were like fifth in the Spotify charts, charts right? in the UK. We yeah. were absolutely flying high. And then, and then, and then this like podcast. one company, no. this one company has brought out like maybe fifteen mm. separate star sign podcasts. So it's like if you, if you're a Scorpio, you listen to the Scorpio one, and all these They've fucking all gone, morons are, are actually listening to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I hate signs. star signs. It and. These guys are now come up and they've just dominated the charts. Like right, Spotify, shit, if you're watching, yeah, get rid of these little scum. And here's the worst part. Here's what I, what? How long's the podcast? 
what well, our podcast now how long is how long is the, I've, I've not even dared click them they're fella. three minutes long oh, that's, that's not a podcast yeah, that's a joke man. That's an they're advert. taking a minute and they upload every day that's why so anyways guys if Crazy you want to this them. whole vibe you're giving is very scorpio vibe yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. anyways guys we'll catch you on the next one have a fantastic day see you bye